I am your father. I want you to confide in me when you have problems. You see, I call this meeting because I have observed that you are not relaxed in this house. So what is your problem? I don't have a problem. I don't have any problem whatsoever. I have so many things to say, but uh, this is not the right place to say it because you called for this meeting. I'm just here to listen to what you have to say. You chair the meeting, say everything. I will just listen. I will save mine for another day. You see, when I look at you lately, I see the picture of a young man that has been consumed by greed. And it's not good for you. So I want you to retrace your steps before it is too late. Noroka, you are nowhere close, right? Nowhere close to advise me on what to do. Because you know nothing about success. You know nothing about making it in life. So don't advise me. Let, let me ask you a simple question. You've been in this furniture for God knows how long. What do you have to show for it? Nothing, not even a plot of land. If your late brother didn't die when he died, where would we be living now? Where? Uh, uh, Ferdinand, wait, 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 wait. Are you aware you are talking to our father? Huh? How can you address our father as Noruka? Anthony, the next time I speak and you cut into my sentence, my statement, it won't be good for you. No, I didn't mean to cut into your statement, but what I'm saying is that you should address our father with respect. You know what? Let me just leave both of you in this meeting. Continue in your meeting of poverty, backwardness, and stand still. Because I am a go-getter. I know what I want in life. I go out there and I get it. I know about determination and being focused. And that is where I'm going. Stay here and wallow in poverty. Look at this house. One day I will get my own house. I'll see you when I see you guys. I'll talk to him. Don't even bother your brother. Let him wallow in his ignorance. Let me tell you something. Those who don't agree will eventually agree. And when they do, they agree better than those who agreed right from the very beginning. Yes. Chief Ibanugo is my brother, but we don't really relate like brothers, you know, like siblings. Babe, that is what I'm trying to understand. How is that possible? How can you have a millionaire in your family and you not see it? You are at the bank of a river. Why would you decide to use your saliva to wash your hands? It doesn't make sense. What are you doing with Anthony? Wait, I don't understand what you're driving at. Are you having problems with your younger brother? For the fact that you're even asking me that question, I think is an insult. Because as low as my status is, I'm even on a better level than that idiot Anthony. Yes, yes I am. Let's think on a big level. Think like people of your caliber, babe. This your advice is totally misleading. So you're telling me to leave your younger brother? People say it's a woman's world. I say it's a man's world. You know why? Because a man can do anything in this life and get away. Women cannot. There are certain things you do in this life and society doesn't agree. They don't like it. So what happens? A woman goes down and under till death. Do you, do you understand what I'm, t I'm trying to tell you? I do not understand because I don't know where I come in in all this. What's my role to play? I don't get it. You have a millionaire in your family. That's the bottom line. You, 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 you need to realize that and start to roll with people like us who are determined to make it in life, who want to succeed. Let me show you the way, babe. You don't need an idiot like Anthony who doesn't know what success is about. I know it. Let's roll. Leave this idiot because he will sink you down with him. That's all I'm trying to say. Think about it. Think about it. I'll go make some money. Papa, it's 
business is not one-sided. It's not. Look, I have assessed this business. Let me tell you what they do. What these people do, they go to Nkano and buy baskets. Then they transport the baskets to the north. When they get there, they sell the baskets and use the money to buy cows. Papa, there is plenty of money in this business. That's why uh, I was hoping you'd be able to, you know, assist me with some money. Let me see if I can join the business. I know that I have, you know, I believe it that I'm going to make it. I know. And that's what people say, especially when they hear of new business. No, no, no Papa. I'm not saying this to impress you. I'm not. Okay, go around all the abattoirs in Onicha. You'll find out that up to 1,000 cows are being slaughtered on a daily basis. Calculate it. Chike himself told me that there is plenty of money in this business. Sometimes they buy one cow for as low as 10,000 naira. Calculate it now, you see they are making money. Well, you know I don't have money. But if you are very sure of this business, we'll find a way of raising some money and give to you so that you can start it. <laughs> Papa, Papa, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. There is money in it, I am sure. I mean, look at Chike now. Chike hasn't been in this business for up to one year. He's already building a house in 3-3. Uh, well, I want to join this business. I know I'll make it. I know. Business. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you something. Do you know that you can go to the north, buy the cows, put them in a lorry before you get to Onisha? They are out there. Eh? I mean, if it is borrowed money you use in starting this business, what do you think about it? I, I'm very happy that you've given me audience this morning, uh, but I must apologize for coming to you with my troubles. Uh, I've been to your office several times to meet up with you and, and share my problem, but unfortunately, I never met you. And I know it's wrong for me to come to your house, but um, I'm desperate. That is why I'm here. So, um, uh, please forgive me, sir. Well, ah, it's all right. You're, you're welcome. Um, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you very much, sir. Sit down. You know, I was very, I was, I was very impressed when I spoke to you on the phone. You know, I am not surprised that you went all out to uh, to find my number to get this appointment. Um, I'm not going to ask you how you got the number. <laughs> okay. But I know you, you young people, ah, you will go to any strange length to get whatever you want. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, well, the problem we have now is that um, I don't like doing business at home. You go to the office, meet my manager. Um, I can assure you, I would have called him before then. Everything, he will handle it. Be rest assured. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. But uh, I was hoping you could handle my situation personally because I know how managers can be sometimes. They, they can push you around, more especially if, if it is their chairman that sent you. They sort of use their position to manipulate the situation. So I really hope you could personally handle my situation. I know you used to be close to my father. I, I'm not sure what happened. Who told you that? Your father? Well, not directly. I, I saw a photograph with, with you and him back in the day during the war. So I just assumed that you were close to have taken a picture together. Mm -hmm. I'm just pleading, Uncle, please. So, um, what do you want? Uh, to, to cut the long story short, knowing that you don't do business in the house, um, I'm trying to succeed in life. Um, it's very difficult because... Anthony, what has come over you? Gosh, I cannot believe this. Are, are you saying you don't, you don't have good plans for yourself? Yeah. What else do you want me to tell you now? Huh? I told you that I've already concluded plans with Chike to start importing cows from the north. What else do you want me to say? Look, if you have this money, give me. My father cannot help me because he doesn't have money and I know. But you have to impress me with your business plans before I can assist you with money. How can you think of selling cows, going to the north to buy cows? Cows! Why don't you just think big? Think of something else. Think international. Uh, international? Is it not money uh, they used to do international business? Where will I get the money from? 
bottom line, I don't have money. And I can't start breaking my head because I want to be like other people. I don't have money. I won't kill myself. Don't you see those guys in the main market that go to Asia for business? Why don't you become friends with them? Be friendly with them. Those friends that can help you. Why must you see only Chike that trades on cows? Look, I am seeing only Chike. Only Chike because there will be no customs to seize or impound cows. The business is straightforward. And let me tell you, don't underestimate Chike. Don't just underestimate Chike. Chike is already building a house in there. Uh, where, where is that? In 33. Yes, he's making money. Big money. <gasps> God. Anthony, you know, I actually accepted to become your friend because I thought you had something upstairs. And I can tell you that I am well loaded upstairs. Well loaded. I can't start telling you lies just to impress you. I can't. Listen, listen, listen. Please, give me this money. If you have this money, give me and wish me well in business. Then sit back and see how well I'll do in this, this cow business. There's money in it all. I'm telling you, there is serious money in this cow business. At least if I don't know any other person, I know Chike. He's building a house in 33. So, there's money. Please. So, when are you coming up with your first turn? Which, which first turn? I, I I thought you were gonna give me the money. The, the minute you give me the money, I will I will just supply you in the shortest possible time. I should give you money. Are you sure you know this business? What, what do you mean, uh, Mr. Manager? I I thought you were gonna give me the money so I can I can I can supply you. I know where quality goods are. The minute you give me the money, the money hits my account. I will bring you to supply and even those who've been supplying you, you will realize that theirs is, is not good quality. Mine is top notch. Just pay me and I supply you. Do you know I left everything I was to do? Came in here, sat down to listen to you because you came with a letter from the chairman. Yes. Now that I've listened to you, I can tell you authoritatively that you don't know this business, you are not ready for this business, and I'm actually thinking that you're wasting my time. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Your, 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 your chairman gave me this letter that I brought to you because I, I, I know my capabilities. I was able to convince him and he was impressed with what I can do and that's why he gave me this letter that you should, you should um, you know, do, do, do what he says. You impressed him and that is the reason why he wrote this letter. In this letter he said that I have to treat your case with urgency that it deserves, that I should pay you upon delivery. He never said I should give you money. He can't even say that because he knows that is not our standard. We don't operate that way. Sorry, are you saying that I should supply this big company materials and then you pay me back afterwards? Where, 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 where am I going to find that kind of money from? Where, where am I going to get it from? Without your statement, I stand justified when I say that you don't know this business. You are not qualified to even come here in the first place. Listen to me. What you have to do is to go and look for money and come up with a supply. As long as your supply is good, exceptional, then you can be sure of your money. Even if you supply goods worth up to one billion naira, the rest are sure that you are going to be paid. Money is not our problem here. We have excess of it. But you must make supply first, then we can pay you. Okay, if, if you say money is not your problem, it's the same thing whether I, I supply you first and you pay me back. You could, you could equally give me the money and then I supply you. Money is not your problem. Just let me have the money and then I will... I know where the good goods are. Ferdinand, we have a standard that we follow. You are not qualified to walk in here to change that standard. I don't have the money now. You go and suffer. Yes. Well, have you seen the young man I said to you? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I, I have seen the young man you sent, and uh, I have already told him what to do, sir. Um, try as much as possible to give him required assistance. You see, his father and I were in the army together, and um, I really would like to help his boy. But um, make sure that um, make sure of the quality he supplies before you pay him. No problem, sir. Already I have told him how we operate here. He knows how we work. Good. Feel free to get in touch with me whenever the need arises. Noted, sir. No problem. I sincerely appreciate it. 
Bah. Bah ça. See, as a brother, you should be rest assured that you can confide in me. Tell me what your problems are, and we can handle them as men from the same village. You see, I don't want you to seem as if I'm complaining from place to place. The thing is that Ferdinand, my son, is turning to something else. So I want you to call him, talk to him, advise him. You are the godparent, so you really need to bring him closer, talk to him, advise him, especially when he is going astray. I was with him three days ago. And all he said never suggested that he was falling off track. I'm talking of somebody who lives in the same house, in fact, by song. Huh? Do you know that Ferdinand called me this morning and told me that I was not even qualified to advise him just because, according to him, I failed to own a plot of land at Onisha. So you really need to bring him, talk to him, advise him and make him realize that money is not everything. If what you said is Ferdinand's offense, then I will tell you that he has committed no offense. He told me the same thing, and I saw reasons in what he said. Are you sure you are not the one that is encouraging him? Me? Encourage him? I never encourage him to say anything, but I know he's making sense. See, why must we advise young men? We led good life, but ended up being poor. So why must we encourage our children to learn from our examples? I know where Ferdinand is coming from. And it is only good that we leave children to do what their mates do in order to succeed. Okay, okay. Let me tell you something. Please, don't even call him and give him this advice. In fact, don't talk to him at all. A point must be made. Ferdinand is now a man and is thinking as well. What we need to do is encourage him. I am his godparent and I'm happy with the position he is now maintaining. Ferdinand, I don't understand you. Huh? Why are you always calling meetings at awkward times? Can't you just... Oh my lord. Leave me to sleep now. Huh? You, you, you think those who have succeeded in life sleep the way you sleep they don't sleep like that they don't sleep much because they, they need to think up new ideas they need to come up with a plan they need to do things that will make them successful we need a plan Ferdinand I don't agree with you no I say no Benson Noruka our father is an honorable man and you always call him a dollar I say no stop it he's an honorable man what do you know about being honorable what, what is being honorable? What is it? What has he done? What has he given us? He's been in Onija for God knows how long. What has he produced? Nothing. How many years? A plot of land was going for 10,000 naira. Did he purchase a plot? And you talk about an honorable man? 10,000 naira then is worth more than 10 million naira now. It doesn't make a difference. I don't even understand you. Why are you always talking against our father? Tell me. Wait, you, 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 you sitting down here, you. What have you been able to achieve? Tell me, you. Okay. It goes right, right back to you. What have you been able to achieve? No, you. Because you're the one who always talking and, and making noise. You. The point I'm trying to make is, what has he been able to achieve? Because if he had achieved something, we would be achievers. Everybody needs a platform to start, something to, to, to roll on, to move on, to, to, to draw inspiration from. We don't have it because he's, he's, he, he's cursed. The man is stopping our growth, Anthony. We don't need him. That's why I'm saying we need to combine, put our voices together, send him back to the village, and then you and I, as desperate achievers, brothers, we strive on. Ferdinand, what did you say? Send our own father back to the village. I say no. I will not be part of any move to send our father back to the village. The village is, is a dangerous place, don't you know? 
He may get there and somebody will poison him and, and he dies and we, we become orphans. Even better. Even better. Are we not orphans already? Are you an orphan? Do you feel like you have a father? Well, I feel I'm an orphan. Who is feeding who? Does he give you food or you feed him? Is that the way it should be? Let's just get rid of this man. Push him aside. Push him over. I don't care. Let's get rid of him and his bad luck. We don't need to be pulled down because we need to go up. That's where I'm going and I want to take you with me. Ferdinand, I think you've made your point. <clears throat> I don't mean to disrespect you, but I don't want to be part of this. Let me see. Something must happen. I am not going to allow Benson to destroy me with his poverty. I must be a millionaire. Or I will die trying to be one. He disappoints me, Tonya. In this modern world, where men are buying cars and houses for their girls, you're settling for that pauper that sells cows. I never knew you loved me that much. What kind of woman are you, Seth? <laughs> Helen, it's not about loving meat. Okay, I'm, I'm not just the kind of person that loves money. Money is not everything to me. Listen, you know I have a millionaire in my family and I know what he's going through. I know what he's facing. Nobody even sees him as an honorable man. Nobody sees him as a noble man. I'm even wary of, of riches. That is not enough reason for you to fool around with a nobody. You have all it takes to get a very big guy instead of settling for that indigent. My dear, I value my Anthony more than those so-called big guys. Yes, I even prefer him to your Ferdinand who is so over ambitious. Anthony is the kind of man I want. He is a real man. He is straightforward. He is open. He doesn't hide anything from me. He is the kind of man I've, I've always dreamed of. He is what I want. Anthony has a very good future. And he fits into my own future. Enough. Enough, Tonya. I've had it. I'm going to call your brother and I'll tell him what you're up to. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Go ahead and call him. You want me to give you the phone? Besides, I heard he's looking for a new wife, so you can just go ahead and sell yourself cheaply to him. Then he will marry you and you swim in his millions. I can't believe you're saying this. For me, I am okay the way I am. It's Anthony I want. Final period. <coughs> now I can talk. What do you want? Look, old man, uh, you've wasted my time enough. All right? I have been thinking this thing through and I'm going to pour my heart out. If you buy a product, you buy a merchandise and you don't like it or it's not good, you can return it. It is about time we return you. Go back to your village. I propose you go back. It is time. Go back and leave us alone. Wait. Are you sure you are still alright? I am very sound. I am very correct. Now, nobody sells a goat standing one place because the stupid goat doesn't stand one place. You have to find customers. Look, this is what people do in life. They don't even identify their own potential. They don't know what is good for them. Your hidden treasure is in the village. That is where it is. I can succeed here. It doesn't mean you will succeed here. Go back to your village and stay there and just leave us alone so we can stop spending money at the hospital. Deal with some herbalist. Well, I'm sorry to say this. If you continue like this, I might be forced to place a curse on you. Place a curse on me for what? It won't even work because you have no money. Anybody who has no money, the curse will never work. So I'm not even afraid. And I'm telling you that you need to go back to your village. These are the problems we have in, in, in life. People don't know where to place themselves. Their priority. Go to the village. That is where you belong. This is my time. It's my generation. I need to succeed. I need to sort myself out. You've been in Onacha for God knows how long. What did you bring? Nothing. Return. By the time what you are planning matures, you are going to be the one that it will consume. I exempt your brother and I also exempt myself. You are digging a pit and you are going to be the one that will fall into that pit. Do you understand? <laughs> so 
say, hey, Chike, I don't know where the money is going to come from, but I, I feel it will come. For some days now, my palm has been scratching me, so I, I have this strong feeling that somehow money will come. But see, Chike, I need an assurance from you that this business is not risky. Please. <laughs> well, you see, I'm not going to tell you that this business is very risky one because it is very, very risky. The truth about this business is that it is very lucrative. There is money in this business. It is one business that brings excess money in 200% of cane. Are you sure? Do you understand? So, I mean, it's risky though, but it's lucrative. Chike. 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 You're my friend now. I won't deceive you now. I know I don't have money. Somehow I know I'll find, but Chike. So, <clears throat> if, if I'm able to raise, uh, let's say, 100,000 naira initial capital, would that be enough? At least to start first. 100,000? That, that is a lot of money we're talking about here now. The 100,000 you're talking about can buy you five cows. Yes! I mean, you see, there are, in this, there are people in this business that are buying 20 cows to get us started with just 100,000. No, no, no Anthony, are you serious? That, that money you just mentioned can buy you five cows. You see, Anthony, in this business, there are people who are buying 20 cows today that's just started with one. The most important thing is that you're coming into the business with the sole determination to succeed. And I'll succeed. <laughs> okay, okay, thank God. I've taken you to the site where I'm building. Yeah, I've seen your house now. Every single penny you see me spending on that land was gotten from this business. From this business? I'm telling you, you came from this business. Okay, they are even the so-called meat yeah. business. People that do the so-called meat cannot even boost of building the house rent. I know now. I've yeah. seen. I've seen your house. Uh, so can I? I can join next week. Abby. Well, why? Why not? I mean, when you're ready, once you uh, bring, arrange this money, you talk about. No then problem. I'll no. give you all the assistance you need. Uh, I, I don't have the money now, but somehow it's going, it's going to come. Yeah, yeah. All those those cows there, are they they are all yours. Eh? Of course, now we shared it okay. myself and one Alahaji. So once they take it, they're taking it to the other side. Before, to me over your actions and utterances. Though I told him to leave young men alone, but I called you in order to know what you said that made him angry. If I knew this is what the discussion was about, I wouldn't have even shown up. You sound as if you hate your father so much. It's not like I hate him. I don't hate him, but he's he is not a progressive human being. He he doesn't want to move on in life. He he's so stagnant. You know, and and he's got this bad luck thing around him that whoever is around him as well, the, the bad luck attracts them. And and I'm not for that. So so please, if he listens to you, can you just ask him to go back to the village so that I can live my life? Listening to you leaves me with the impression that you have a series of plans. Oh yes, I do. I want to know what your next plans are. I have lots of plans, countless of plans, things I want to do in life, but I can't do them simply because of him. Whatever is affecting him is now affecting me. His bad luck. I don't need him around me. I, I need to move on in life. So I'm just saying, talk to him so he goes to the village and then we can move on. I, I can get, get good things in this life. Both in public and in private, I've agreed with you on a lot of topics, most of which are very unpopular. But I will not agree with you over this. If you know that your father's presence is disturbing your business, then take a leave. What do you mean take a leave? Leave Onitsha. I relocate to Lagos, Abuja, Kanu, Calabar, Kotonu, or even Europe, like my son did. You cannot compel your father to retire to the village. Do what others do. Take a leave. Okay. You're just another negative man. Another negative old man. That's what you are. You, you people, you don't think about moving on in life. You think you've acquired some small thing and you just... You are just happy with it. You, you you just stay on that level. You don't want to aspire for bigger things. I do not want to dwell over this topic any longer. And I believe you heard what I said. If you are no longer comfortable in Onisha, then you leave. Uh huh, check it. Uh, Anthony, um, I'm not within Onisha right now. Yeah, I'm in 33 supervising my breeding project. Yes, yeah, no, fine, fine, fine. I managed to raise some money, so I am now ready for the business. Uh, okay, um, the bus leaves Headbridge before noon. 
Mm? You need to come to my house very early. Yeah, you come early. We need to take care of the money before the long journey to Sokoto. Huh? Yeah. Chiki, which one is take care of money? Take care of the money. I don't understand. I've packed the money in my box. What do you mean? <laughs> Anthony. Okay, see, eh? Just try and come early to my house. Eh? You will not understand. I will explain everything for you in details when you come. Alright? You don't have anything to be afraid of. Okay? Okay. Uh, a dog will follow a pot belly man for one of two reasons. Either the man vomits or desecrates. Whichever way the dog stands to benefit. Chairman, that's why I'm following you. I know there are lots and lots of things that can happen that will make me gain. I mean, if I'm wanting, 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 I stand to gain either way. <laughs> you know, my boy, the first time I laid my eyes on you, I knew that you could be trusted. Thank you, Chairman. And this is why I have decided to get you onto greener pastures. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Something tells me you think you're living in peace. But I'm back again to tell you there's no peace for the wicked. Chairman, the lady standing there, she looks beautiful. But I think she's a witch. I need your permission. Should I get rid of her? Because I, I can do something. Just, just give me the word. They fly. The house no advisor follows the cops to great beyond. You are convinced you're near, but I tell you, you are still too far. Chairman. I thought we had silenced the spirit of this woman. Why is she appearing again? I am still too far. What could she possibly mean by that? Hmm. Father Lord, I am calling upon your holy name. Father, I am asking for your direction. Father in heaven, you have made it possible for me to have this money today. And tomorrow I will be embarking on this trip with Chike. Father, I call upon your holy name. I beg for your protection. Father, you said knock and it shall be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. Father Lord, I am calling upon your holy name. I know that I will embark on this trip and I will return successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I beg, I call upon your holy name. Send down your angels, Father Lord. Protect the driver, the car, the everything, the road that will ply everything thing about this journey will be successful and I will come back with everything working for me Father Lord. Be leaving behind I pray that you guide and guard over them. My father, my brother I pray that you, you send your Holy Spirit to, to guard over my family and my trip will be successful thank you in Jesus mighty name I'm on my way. On your way to which place? Ah, <laughs> Papa, I told you I'll be going with Chike to Sokoto for the cow business. Yes, the, the bus leaves Head Bridge by noon. 
Okay, so you succeeded in raising some money? Yes, yeah, so Papa was able to raise something small. Let me go and try now. Okay, my son, I wish you well, eh? Thank you. Well with you. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Old man, you are still here? Do you see the sun? I thought by now you would have packed your things and gone to your village. What are you still doing in this house? You see, you will eventually have your own children and they will be disrespectful to you the way you have been to me. Can you stand before your father's grave and repeat those lines? You cannot because you know nothing about success. You don't know how to succeed in this life. You see, me, before I bring my kids into this world, I would have planned for it. I will plan for them how many I want and everything they need in this life, they will have it. Because I will be prepared. You weren't prepared. You were just born in. Just, just like that. You know nothing about determination. I said, pack your things and go back to your village. Return! Let me tell you something. Your children will eventually insult you the way you have been insulting me. They will insult. In fact, I regret ever having you as a son. I regret. I regret being your son. Why? Because you have given me nothing. What have you given me in this life? Your late brother's house? Or what? Clothes? Even food to eat. I am the one that will give you money to eat. Have you given me money? What do you have? What do you have in this life? Nothing! Who should regret? You or me? I don't even know what to do again. Don't tell me anything. Go, go, go. No, no, you go! Go! Go to the village! As you enter the house, put it down. Pack your thing and go to the village. Hey, well, I don't pump. Pump. You, you, you do it now, I don't pump. Pack. I don't understand you. What do you mean I should go in there and take all my money and give to their life? Why? I'm asking you to give them money because that is the best thing for I don't understand this one. So if I take my money and give him, how will I buy the cows when we get to the north? Okay, Anthony, calm down. You see, it is no longer advisable for anybody to travel with money these days. You understand? All you need to do is give the Elijah money here. He will give you a paper. When we get to Sokoto, the Elijah in Sokoto there will give you the money. Once you present the paper to him, that's all. Just like that? Just like that. I was talking about wasting time just for nothing here. I mean, you should have used the money to package, to, to, to ship all these baskets down to Sokoto for packaging of seed tomatoes and for transporting down to the south and to the east. You say you don't want to try that kind of business. Now, this is the business, I, this is what I know how to do best. This is what we do. Give him the money and let us go. But let me tell you something. I will never allow you to travel with cash. Put that in your mind. But, 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 but you, you didn't tell me before now. Did you tell me when we were in the house? Did you tell me if we get here, I'll take my money and give to Allah? You didn't tell me now. Bring this money now. Wait, wait, wait. It's not my money, wait. I don't understand this thing you're saying. You didn't tell me before in the house. No problem. Trust me. Find the money. What do you mean you can't find the money now? What do you mean you can't find the money? For it, I'll just give it to you guys. What do you mean you can't find the money? See, 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 Anthony. If you're not ready for this business, tell me and let me get your money. I don't have to. What do you mean, James? I put my money here and I can't. I cannot solve your problem until you tell me your problem. I know I told you that I work with the spirits in order to control other spirits. But I have not told you that. I am a spirit myself. Sentawa, I am beginning to have double mind about uh, this your continuous claim of having control over spirits. You call me here to insult me? 
Santawa, I am not insulting you. I paid you all the money that you asked for. No. I mean, you tell me. Why? After you have assured me that you have caged completely Magdalene. Why is Magdalene still appearing in my dreams? I asked you a question before and you refused to speak. Now I am asking again, what did you do with your wife? What business of, is it of yours? What I did with my wife? You are only an ordinary spiritualist who, who says that he works for other spirits. Then do the work, face the work, and do it properly, instead of poking your nose into private affairs. Chief, you can intimidate others when you open your eyes, but you cannot intimidate me. If you want me to cage that woman and stop her from appearing again, then you must tell me what you did with your wife. You must! Why have you suddenly become afraid of a woman you married to make yourself I am still not impressed with the caliber of friends you keep around you. Like the one you had today. Finally, ask credible questions. You must answer that question. You must open up and tell the whole world what you did with your wife. You must open up to my family. My family are waiting to have for you to tell them exactly what happened to your sister. And you must give them that information in peace or you will give it when you are already in peace. I used to love that girl. But I now hate her. Chief. This is not a good day for rhetorics or complaints into love and hate and hate and love and all that. I don't know how to tell you this. But I must tell you. We have something big. Something very big. Something very, very big in our lives. Something big as what? Looks at our I'll give I'll be any, 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 anything. I'll give anything. Now I want you to banish Magdalene. Banish her, that woman. Confine her back into her grave. And send her sealed forever. Into the, into, into, into the golden casket I ordered from Canada for one hundred thousand dollars. Chief. That you buried her with expensive stones instead of ordinary sand is of no use to me. You must tell me. You must! You must tell me what you did with that woman. You must! You must! You must tell me what you did with your wife. You must. You must. You don't understand what Feta! 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 You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I, you stay here. We stay in the same room. You must tell me what happened to my money. Look at this small boy talking to me like that. Huh? Let me understand one thing. Between both of you, let me understand this. Are you looking at me as a thief? Nobody is saying that you are a thief. What he's saying is that both of you live in the same room together. And it is only natural that you should ask you whether he, you saw his money. And I'm saying I didn't see the money. I didn't see it. Why are you asking me? So what happened to if, money? If, look, if anybody should, should be stealing somebody's money, it's you guys. If there's any money in this house, it's in my pocket. Why, why would I want to take your money do you have money there's no money in this house of laggards now listen to me if i want to steal money from someone it will not be from this brat uh, fine fine call me a brat i accept if you want to kill me kill me but here you're not going anywhere you must tell me what happened to my money because i put that money in my box and it cannot develop wings and fly it's not possible if you think your money didn't develop wings and flew away then maybe you should ask this old man ask him we are three in the house pose the question to him no, 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 wait, 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 Ferdinand. Are you implying that I opened his bag and stole his money? Are you implying that I opened his bag and stole his money? Do I look like a thief to you? Oh, you're getting, you, you're getting angry now because I've, I've roped you in the situation? 
Am I the only one in this house? Anybody has money in this house is me. What, what is wrong with both of you? I give you money to eat, do you? Figure your thing out and leave me out of this. Come, 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 my son. Come, come, come. Wait, see, wait, let me tell you. Don't cry like those who don't have hope. God knows the best. He knows why this thing happened. Maybe he doesn't want you to go into the car business. Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. It's okay, it's Anthony, it's okay. Let's go in, let's go in. I want to know everything about this man who lured you into using your wife for money making rituals. Well, uh... I, I don't know much about him. Um, I know he's not the, he's not from this country. And uh, but honestly, I cannot tell you his country of origin. What I do know, or can remember, is the fact that we met at the airport. I was going to Joss, and he too happened to be going to Joss. We got talking, got on the aircraft, and uh, as it happened, his seat was next to mine. So we continued discussing. By the time we landed, we we decided we wanted to continue the the, the relationship. We exchanged telephones. He invited me to Calabar, where he, where he lived. And uh, I, I went. And uh, took me to so many places. I didn't know he was testing my determination. Anyway, the climax of it was that uh, I was asked to present the soul of my wife. That was exactly what I did. I gave them her soul. How did you do it? They, uh, they gave me a, a, a towel. But it wasn't dripping. They gave it to me and it was dry. Bone dry. However, they asked me to place it on her face when she was asleep. I did this, and in my very presence, her spirit rose from her body. And she never woke up in the morning. I sent for the doctor. He came and examined her and pronounced her dead. What did he say was the cause of her death? He, he, he said many things. But the most important one was that her heart enlarged and stopped functioning. Chief, do you have any regrets? Oh. They took the towel from me. They took it away. Oh, I read many books on esoteric philosophy and metaphysical prisms. If I could lay my hands on the towel, I would spread it on her grave and she would stop appearing. Chief. I don't want us to go into the number of books you have read or you have not read. Let me tell you, in the occultic, one plus one is not always two. Different masters have different cosmic approaches. What may make one master happy could trigger up the beast in another one. 
but let me ask you is there something they said you should not do that you did or something you were asked to do that you did not do they asked me never to see another cops after my wife's cops and for years everything worked I was making money everything I touched became gold you know uh, bank managers were falling over themselves to reform for the accounts of my companies oh everything was fine and I, until I lost my child and the body was brought home my only child I I wept oh how I wept I wept so bitterly before the cops and it was after that that uh, Magdalene, his mother, began to appear. How do I meet this foreigner who lured you into the occult? I honestly don't know. He no longer, no, he no longer lives in Calabar. And uh, we only meet every 21 months at our meetings. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I need to get to that meeting. There are things only him can tell me. Santa, there has to be another way. I mean, we, we, we cannot wait to cross-examine this man. We cannot wait another 14 months before we see, before, before we see him and go through all this agony. Please, there has to be another way. I'm sorry, madam. Don't see this as if I'm being disrespectful, but cause demands that when you are ushered into an office, you sit down and introduce yourself. Do you actually want to tell me you don't know? Sincerely, as in honestly, I don't know you. I'm sorry if I ought to know you, but I, I doubt if I have ever seen anyone like you anywhere before make this easy for me please who are you chief ibanugo employed you after the first manager left is that and you didn't bother to find out why the former manager left this big company to manage a small hotel madam i didn't bother to ask such a question because i am a professional manager as a point of fact I am a senior research fellow with the Nigerian Institute of Professional Managers. I have a duty and that is to turn companies around. I don't have to bother myself with the reason why somebody left the place. That's not my business. I am here running this company and I'm doing it to the very best of my ability. If you understand what I mean. Your chairman has not been coming to work. Do you know why? Very simple. He realized that he has a competent manager who is managing the company and he decided on his own to stay back in his house and monitor events via telephone, email, and other communication means. I don't know. You have not told me who you are. Why all these questions? There's a towel I gave to him. He has used it for so long. I don't know why he has refused to return it. I want the towel. Madam, are you sure you know the person you gave your towel? Yes. I gave my towel to Chief Ibanugo, the managing director of this company. Just tell him that the Magdalene came to your office asking for the towel. Yes. Madam, please, Madam, wait. I, I don't understand what you mean. Can you break it down for me? 
you wouldn't make me to believe you are naive. Or don't you want to deliver my message? Yeah, madam, uh, please. That's not the point. The issue here is that your mission is a known issue. I cannot discuss this very visit of yours with my boss. Yes, I believe, because you, I know you cannot lie. My boss may have borrowed your towel, but I can tell you confidently that he must have forgotten about it. So tell me the cost of this your towel and I'm going to pay you back. We cannot take this kind of trivial matter to the MD. You know what I'm talking about? Towel. Do you think you can pay for the towel? Madam, as long as you are sure that it was a mere towel that you gave my boss, then I can pay for it. Looking at you, I know you, you, you don't go for any towel. It must be designer towel. So you tell me the name of the designer of this your towel and I'm going to place an order for their latest design, their highest grade. It can be delivered in two days. Okay. Don't you ever try to join yourself to something that doesn't concern you. Tell Chief Ibanuro that Madam Magdalene came to your office asking of the tower. Don't you ever fail to deliver my message. Thank you. You see, this is what I heard about this man. Why is he bringing this office to Redico? What is Tower that he will borrow and will not return? Can you imagine a woman coming here to ask of Tower? What, what kind of insult is this? Anyway, I'm surprised that you and Anthony are the same parents. So you don't seem to be in the same frame of thoughts. You don't have to be shy to say it. It's a fact. You don't need to be afraid to say that. We are not on the same level and we can never be on the same level. I mean, this guy, it's, it's not possible. Unfortunately, the person who is supposed to be able to help me solve this problem is dead. My mother is gone. I don't know how I'm going to know now. Well, I'm so sorry. What problem are you talking about? To be able to tell me who my father is. You think that bum walking around there could be my father? It's not right. Because I'm full of vim. I'm full of energy, persuasion, determination. He has nothing to show for all the lives he's lived on earth. Nothing. He can't be my father. My father has to be a millionaire. Somewhere. I just need to locate him. I'm so sorry, Ferdinand. But don't you think you're making irresponsible and reckless statements here? I mean, you're indirectly calling your mother a flirt. And that is unacceptable to me. You don't speak evil of the dead. I am looking at it from a different angle. Okay, my mother was a very beautiful woman. And there is no way that she could have married that man. I, I, I don't know what he could have told her to make her marry him. I mean, he has nothing to show and ugly at that. He's a bum. It's not possible. I really don't know what he said to, to get her to marry him. It, I, I don't know. You know what, Ferdinand? I'm no more enjoying this discussion. Just drink up. I want to go home right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. That's not what we agreed. We didn't say that we were, you were going to go home. We agreed to come here, have some drinks, and then we'll check in the hotel room, remember? That's why I'm spending all this money. I'm not going to spend this money for nothing. We will go to the room. If I should go into this room with you, mm -hmm. yeah, what can you do? I can do everything. Come on, don't be a child. We all know what happens in the hotel room when a man and a woman goes into a hotel room alone. That's what happens. Grow up. Huh? Chief, the only way we can end this circle of appearance is to give her a man. She needs a man, and we must give her a man. Magdalene has never been a flirt. What do you mean by give her a man? Oh, I'm going to use the extra terrestrial extra power of Bermuda Triangle. She needs a man, a young man, strong, virile. We will sink him into her grave. Oh. And he is going to keep her permanently busy in the land beyond that she won't have the time ever to get out here and disturb you. We will banish her permanently away from this place. Permanently? Permanently! Well, 
I cannot boast uh, of understanding what you're saying. But if you say it will solve our problem permanently. Permanently. Ever since I started cleansing this land of abominations and sacrileges such as you have committed, a chick has never died in my hands. I am going to arm the young man with the oil of Sutra and the rod of Pharos. And he is going to continue to wet her ties in the land beyond that she will be too busy engage with him. She will never appear here. We are going to punish her forever. Remove her from here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but uh, something came up. Something like what? Sir. One Madame Magdalene came to the office. She came to ask of a particular tower that she alleged she gave you that you have used for only God knows for how long. Uh, are you sure of what you're saying? Sir, I am very sure of what I'm saying. Very, very sure. I asked her to tell me the price of this tower so I can pay her off. Because I never wanted to disturb you with such nonsense. But the lady said that I shouldn't, I shouldn't bother myself with something that doesn't concern me. That's why I'm calling you, sir. Uh, um, apart from the towel, did she uh, say anything else? Yes. She wanted to know if I asked the reason why the former manager left. But I told her that I'm a professional manager. I don't have any business asking why people left. I told her that I'm the person that is running this company now and that I am doing well to the best of my ability. That's what I told her, sir. Uh, did she come alone? I need to verify that from the security, whether she entered the company alone, but I know she came into my office alone. Now I want you to listen to me. I don't want that lady around that company again, ever. If she ever finds her way into your office, do not, do not entertain her. Is that clear? Noted, sir. Hey, but sir, I, I, want to, I want to get something from you. Don't be offended. Are you keeping her towel? As she alleged, sir. Look, you have been employed as a manager. I will appreciate it if you concentrate on that job. I don't want to see that woman in the company again. It is me she has come to see. And I can deal with her. Okay, sir. Dad, this, this man, this man is not well. But he's too well now. Is anything the problem? Mm, Santa. We need that young man and we need him urgently. Magdalene has paid my new manager a visit. I have told you what we must do. We need that young man fast. And then we can sit down here and solve the problem. Banish her! Completely! Banish! Banish her! Permanently! Permanently! Whether it is Indian hemp, Canadian hemp, American hemp, English hemp, French hemp, Nigerian hemp, whatever nonsense hemp is not good for you. Now, why are you parading yourself as a, as a security officer in this company and you're smoking hemp? Why? Fiapa, manager, why, why should I smoke something that has been banned? Eh? Hi, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good security man. <laughs> then you prove it. And there is only one way for you to prove it. Who cleared that lady that came into my office a couple of minutes ago? She was the very first visitor I have this morning. And ever since she left, no other person has entered this office. Her name is Madame Magdalene, according to her. Who cleared her? Madame Magdalene. Manager, maybe, maybe you don't believe me. Oh. Since morning, I've been standing at that gate since looking with my two eyes. I did not see any lady come to visit this office today. But nobody. Security. Sir. Do you think I'm a fool or something? No, 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 sir. You don't think so? Now listen. The lady I'm telling you about sat here, right on this chair. She walked through that door. She wore a tag that actually proved to me that she was cleared from the gate. 
I am asking you as the chief security officer of this company, who cleared that lady when she came through the gate? Manager, <laughs> maybe you are the one that smoked the hemp. I beg your pardon? Uh, no, sir, sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, should I bring the, the register so that you can cross-check by yourself? We did not issue or assign any lady with tag today at all. No, sir. Yeah, I got it. I remember the tag number she wore. As I'm seeing you now, I'm seeing her. I'm looking at the tag. 666. Blood of Jesus. That's the tag number. Who gave her that tag? Security man. Who gave her the tag? Tag. Uh, manager, maybe you are maybe you are mistaking this place to be your uh, the former company you are working with. Huh? Are you out of your mind? No, how dare you ask me such nonsense? I said, who cleared that lady? Sir, manager, that tag number CCC is hey, it's Antichrist number. No? Eh? We, we cannot issue such number from this company. It is not from this company, sir. Uh, our number ends in 070, broken KMTN. Eh? Uh, it's not even up to 100, not to talk of 666. Hey. I did not see any lady with that uh, Antichrist tag, be it tall or small or dwarf, green, yellow. I did not see with my eyes. And the tag is not, we did not give any tag in this company. Security man, I can see you are doing everything humanly possible to smuggle in religion into this very simple discussion we are holding here. Then look at me. This place is not a church. Sir. It's my office. Yes. There is no Bible here. Now, I have my own idea of religion, which is different from whatever idea you hold on that same subject. Security man, if you don't mind. CZ. Get out, my friend. Hey, sir. No, no, no. What, what is going on? Does it mean I am suddenly up? against the Antichrist? Antichrist? Is she a woman? Or a man? Yes, what is it? Sir, that Madame Magdalene is a form of spirit. And why do you think she's a form of spirit? I have reason to believe that she is an affiliate of the Antichrist, or possibly, sir, she may be the Antichrist herself. I have verified with almost everybody that's supposed to know about her visit. Now, sir, you, you won't believe this. The tag she wore when she came into my office has been confirmed to be fake. It is the exact label that they wear in hell. That is what they, that, that's what she wore to my office. The tag of hell, sir. Well, if she if nobody saw her come into the company. Now how did she get to your office? Sir, I was alone in my office when she entered. And I stood up. I welcomed her as a lady, as a commonwealth lady. I asked her to sit down and introduce herself. She sat down and finally, finally, sir. She, talk about, she spoke about the towel. I don't understand what is going on. And, and why did you think that uh, the tag on the clothes she was wearing uh, is direct from hell? Sir, I, 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 sir I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know if you went to Sunday school when you were growing up. But I can tell you that the tag she wore to my office reads 666. Six, six. That is the kind of tag they wore in hell. That is the number. The number of the beast of the book of Revelation in the Bible. That is the tag they wore in hell. The Antichrist that is coming to destroy the world. I don't, I don't know, sir. If our company has been labeled as the very first company that they are going to destroy or something. I don't know what is going on. Well, um, Mr. Manager, I want you to listen to me. Uh, <clears throat> there is nothing going on. Uh, Magdalene is not a spirit. Um, <clears throat> Well, she's very harmless, actually. Um, yes, I, uh, she's very romantic. I'm sure you will like her. Hmm? Shaman, are you 
sure that this lady is so romantic. Don't pull my leg. I get this lady, I just no sense. What is going on here? Chiefy Wanugo employed you after the first manager left, is that? And you didn't bother to find out why the former manager left this big company to manage a small hotel. I am the son of my father and I refuse to be intimidated. I, I am not Antichrist. I don't know Antichrist. I don't know why materials of Antichrist will be flying around my office. You don't know me. I don't know you. I'm looking for guidance. I'm tired of living in poverty. I just need somebody to help me, please. I thought you were a spy. Spying on me. And that's why I asked my boys to beat you up. Now that I confirm that you're not a spy, I'll call you with the number that you gave me That's when I change my mind to help you. Not a spy. And let me warn you right now, don't ever call my number. You understand that? Yes, sir. Boys. Yes, sir. Get him, boys. As humans, we are prone to mistakes. I'm pulling it as a huge mistake on your part. For accusing Ferdinand a thief. See, Uncle, I, I'm, I'm not accusing him for nothing. Ferdinand and I stay in the same room. So if, if my money gets missing, who else will I, will I suspect if not him? Yeah. This is natural, but not in all cases. Are you 100% sure that Ferdinand took your money? Can you stand before a deadly shrine and swear with your, with your life that it was Ferdinand who took your money? No, wait, wait, what are you insinuating? That Anthony doesn't know where he kept his money or that I in Noroka stole it? I haven't said that. I'm saying that Anthony must be sure that it was Ferdinand who stole the money. Because when the leg goes astray, it can be retraced. But with any pronouncement, it enters into bone marrow and can be referred to years after only two of them stay in that room there is no way money will miss without Ferdinand Stop. knowing about it i haven't known Ferdinand to be a thief anthony just told us that he put the bag in chicken's room and then entered his, his um, toilet to ease himself can we now say with every degree of certainty that it wasn't chicken who stole the money i mean why are you Accusing your brother of stealing all your money. Please, I want this accusation stopped before it tears your family apart. Uh, uh, uncle, wait, oh, wait. Are you trying to say that it might be Chiki that stole my money? I haven't said that either. But if the police are involved in this matter, Chiki will be tortured more than Ferdinand. Because from the evidence within us now, he is the number one suspect. <laughs> Helen, yeah. when I told you, I said, let's go to the room. You were doing Shakara, as if you don't know what's up. You are even worse than me. <laughs> you're good, you're good. You're a master at this game, you know? I hope you're not implying flatteries to make me forget the money. 
No, I'm not. I'm not trying to flatter you. How much is this money we're talking about? It's not much. You know, you you show me your talent, and I will stick to my part of the bargain. Hmm. And hmm. baby. Hmm. Sonia told me that her brother, Chief Ibanuko, is not an honorable man. Many people are saying he's into rituals. Helen, let me tell you something. Come from. Where does Chief fit in this conversation? You girls don't have anything to talk about anymore. Now you're talking about Chief? I don't see how that plays in this conversation. Can you just leave the man alone? Are you joining these poor people to talk about rich and famous men? Well, I did not discuss the man with her as a topic. We were saying something else and it came up. I'm telling you this because you told me you went over to his house to negotiate business. I just wanted you to be aware that he's into rituals and cultism. That's all. I went to his house to discuss business and nothing more than that. Why would you relate him to cultism and rituals? You cannot blend the two. Just leave the man alone. He's a successful man. And that is why I'm trying to associate with him. I only made an observation only because you're my friend. I don't want you to regret anything. Well, that's a very stupid observation. Listen to me, Helen. I am trying to succeed in life and I will relate to any man as a potential business person. I see them all as business people. So don't start saying nonsense about people that will change my life because I know what I want in life, okay? Just leave Chief out of this. You're talking as if you're already getting along well with Chief Obama. Well, not just Chief. I'm getting along with everyone. All the big men, all the millionaires. The man is rich. He's a millionaire. And I will associate with him any day. I don't care. I will do whatever it is to be a millionaire because I know one day I will be a millionaire as well. So don't be saying nonsense about such men. What? Hello? I've changed my mind. And I want to help you. I want to introduce you to business. Venice? Look, <laughs> look, I, I am not interested in this anymore. Listen, when I came to you the first time, I just thought that you were my only ladder to success. I don't think like that anymore, so just leave me alone. I am not the only ladder that you need to climb up. I am a good ladder, just a good ladder. I will help you. No, 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 Venice. You are not a good ladder. You are nothing. Why would somebody be introduced to an ocean? And then the person will be interested in the river. Why? Doesn't make sense. Be specific. Who are you calling ocean? And who is river? Well, you are neither of them. You're not the ocean. You're not the river. You are a lake. In fact, you are a pond. Nothing but a pond. A dirty pond. That's what you are. And I don't want to be associated with you. Don't call my phone anymore, okay? I am listening to you because I know you're drunk. No, 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 Venice. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm very sound very sound in fact when i came to you probably that's when i was drunk because i didn't know my left and my right now i know what life is about i know who to see and what to do so i'm very sound right now okay you know what i just confirmed you are an imbecile a total moronic asshole you are the imbecile nonsense it's idiots i'm not so impressed with the level of hostility you're showing your friends I don't know what's, what's, what, what is wrong with you. Have I introduced anybody to you as my friend? Did I say, look, hey, please meet Mr. Friend. Have I, have I introduced anyone to you as a friend? There's a lot of things about life maybe you don't know. I've learned the hard way. Okay, I went to these idiots to help me out. And do you know what they did to me at a the point? They beat me up. But I'm still standing today. I still survived. And now I know what life is about. I know who to see and what to do. So don't even talk to me about friends. If you want friends, you can keep your friends. We started here on a very good note. Why do you want to spoil things? Don't talk about Chief again. Chief is a good man. Vincent, you worked in that company before you came here to be manager of this hotel. And uh, I know you know certain things. That's why I'm here. Well, Larry, it depends on what you mean by certain things. I will resolve in my heart never to discuss that company with anybody. But Vincent, I am not just anybody. I am the manager of that company now. And I took over from you. I want to know the reason why you left. Must I tell you why I left? I met the company in shambles. Did all within my powers to revive it. It wasn't working. I did the honorable thing. Walked away. And for the records, I left on my own. Yeah, of course. I know you left on your own. 
even in the company we have records verifiable records that show that you were doing excellently well as the manager i came here to know the reason why you left that company to come and be manager here in this hotel mr larry there are certain questions you don't ask a man but i must say that i that the decision to leave that company was personal and i intend to let it remain so okay vincent do you know any lady called Madame Magdalene? Is she already working in the company now? <laughs> that means you know her. It simply means you know her. Well, um, I've seen the name. I haven't met her in person, though. May I know where you saw the name? Larry, why do you ask so much questions? If you are sick of the company, simply quit. You have the qualification and experience to get yourself a better job anywhere else. Of course, I know that I have the qualifications to get myself a better job somewhere. I know. I agree with you. But I have a job that I'm doing now and I'm doing this job to the very best of my ability. You worked in that company before me and I came here. Well, why did well, you leave? Mr. Larry, Mr. Larry, if you must know, I left that company because all of my laudable effort to revive it were only seen on paper. None, not even one, was translated into fiscal success. The height of it was that one morning, I got to my office and met a very strange letter waiting for me right on my desk. The letter was written by the said Madam Magdalene. She told me I cannot run where angels dread to walk. You cannot run where angels dread to walk. What does that mean? Honestly, ghost people covered my whole body when I read that letter. It became obvious to me that I was up against some strange forces. I told my dad about the letter and he asked me to quit the job. Now, Vincent, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask you a question because um, there are some issues that I've been trying to resolve since morning and I want to know what you think. Vincent, do you believe in the existence of the Antichrist? <laughs> well, I think the right question should be, don't you believe in the existence of the Antichrist? You see what I'm talking about? That's exactly the headache I've been facing since morning. Everybody is talking of Antichrist. Larry, Vincent, why are you making a concerted effort to smuggle in religion into this very simple discussion we are holding here? Does it be that you as a manager that I trust so much, a competent manager like you, don't you know the difference between religion from simple science of business management, company management? Calm down. Do I sense angry? Why, why are you getting angry? I am not angry. And I can tell you authoritatively that I don't ever get angry. This man that they are seeing here, I have developed my telepathic energies, my telepathic parts. I don't just get angry. I'm just concerned because this morning everybody seems to be talking of Antichrist. Antichrist, Antichrist. Even you here now, we are holding this discussion, you are still talking of this Antichrist. I don't know what is going on. Now, you say that this lady wrote a strange letter to you, Madame Magdalene. Can you look me in the eye 
and confirm to me that this Madame Magdalene is an affiliate of this Antichrist? Or can you possibly go berserk and tell me, confirm authoritatively? Or can you possibly go berserk and confirm to me that the said Madame Magdalene is actually the very Antichrist herself? Can you, can you say that? Larry, you are beginning to sound really weird. And I'm losing interest in this conversation. I'm so sorry, Vincent. I'm so sorry if that is the impression that you have. I'm so sorry about this. But I just want to understand what is going on. You said that you came into your office one morning and you saw a strange letter right on your table. And this letter was written by Madame Magdalene. And then goose pimple ran down your body. And then your father advised you to leave the company. And then you left the company. Is that not what you said? That's exactly what I said. Do you have a problem with that? I don't have any problem, but you have to do me a favor as a colleague and as a friend. Go to wherever you kept that letter and bring it. I want to read the letter myself. Man, I, I don't understand you. How could I possibly file a letter my dad confirmed to be evil? What's wrong with you, man? Your father is not here. But automatically you have made your father to be part of this meeting. Because every time you're talking about your father, your father. I want to ask you, I want to know more about this, your father. Who is he? Is he a telepathic expert? Or is your father a native doctor? Is he a voodoo expert or something? And who, is, who is your father? You know, how could he possibly see a letter and then conclude that the letter is evil? Who, what, what powers does he have? Your father, I don't know him. Who is he? Your father, who is he? Tell me. Mr. Laurie, it's obvious that you and I don't share the same belief. And I must tell you that this meeting is over. Okay? I have to get back to work now. The company that paid you so much money is in shambles. And you're telling me about work. What other work do you have that is bigger than this work? Now I've got to get back to work. This is work? Have you said a nice No, 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 but, but this is work. I got you, man. Hey. How are you, Brendan? Hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Though. I didn't know you come to this hotel as well. Big men like you come here. <laughs> I've tried, though. <laughs> Where the babe? Where is the girl? You couldn't have come here, look. I don't want to go into that, Ferdinand. My dear, please. Can you give us a few minutes of your time? Okay. I want to Pleasure. discuss with this man. Old friend. No problem. Pleasure is on my side. Excuse me. You don't get choice, eh? Yes, manager. Chief Ibanugo told me that you are the son of his old friend. No, I wouldn't say I know him very well, but I know he's a rich man, he has money, and uh, everybody knows that. But if something else you need to know about him, you can ask me. I will give you the information for a fee. For how long have you known Chief Ibanugo? I haven't known him for a very long time, but I know he's a rich man. That's what is important. Now, Ferdinand. Have you heard of a lady called Madame Magdalene before? No, I haven't heard about anybody like that. But is she rich? She has money? Big, uh, well, maybe she's not even rich, because I know all the rich people in this town. If she had money like that, I would have known her. I'm attracted to rich people. I just, I just know them. Do you know, that very first day you came into my office, Yeah. I concluded, I saw it clearly, that there is something wrong with your psyche. You are still showing me that same impression here. I asked you a very simple question and I want a very simple answer. Do you know any lady called Madame Magdalene, please? I don't know anybody as Madame Magdalene. What is your impression about Chief Ibanuga? I've already told you, Chief is a rich man. You work for him. I'm sure you... I don't even know why you're asking me these questions. He's a rich man. That's all that is important. And I know God will make me like him one day. That's, that's my prayer. 
Now, based on what you know, can you say that Chief Ibanego is into occult or ritual? Can you say that? Why are you talking like that, Mr. Manage? Don't be like these poor people who, when they see a rich man, they just say all sort of rumors about him. It's, it's not true. I mean, I, I doubt it. Why, why, are you even, why are you asking me? I don't, I don't think he's into rituals. The man is rich and that's all that is important. That's all I need to know. And then, you know, I consider this call that I made to you now a super waste of my time. If you don't mind, can you just go and join your girl? I want to take my leave now, please. It's not possible. You have to pay me something. Give me money for what? You wasted my time. You wasted my time because you have ended up telling me just trash. Can you just take a leave, please? I want to leave now. You bum in your car to ask me questions. You have to pay. You drop me where you pick me up from. I give you all the money I saved over the years and you promised me you were traveling. So what are you still doing in Onicha? Too many things are simply not right and it's getting me more and more confused. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Confused? Confused over what? Confused about the money you gave me. Listen, I don't have any other money to give to you. I gave you all I had. If the money I gave to you is not enough for you to start your business, then you better go look elsewhere because I, I don't have. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not asking you to give me more money. I'm not saying you should go get money and give me again. It's just... I... I... I lost the money you gave me. You did what? How, how can you say you lost the money I gave to you? I, I know how incredible it sounds, but it's the truth. I was thinking it was Ferdinand, my brother, that stole the money. Then my uncle came and convinced me that Ferdinand is not a thief. He made me to start suspecting Chike, my friend, and that again is hard because ah, I know Chike. Chike, Chike, Chike is too big for such nonsense. He can't get involved in Chike. Chike cannot steal my money, and that is what is getting me so, so confused. I. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, but I I want to believe you know me. The father read the letter and advised her to leave the company. Is it because you don't have a father that you are running from pillar to post looking for the antichrist? Let me ask you, do you have what it takes to stand before the man that constituted himself the enemy of Christ? Madam, I sincerely can't remember telling you that I don't have a father. And for you to know that I don't have a father, it means you are not an ordinary woman. I can see that. But please, tell me the truth. Are you an affiliate of the Antichrist? Or possibly, are you the Antichrist in flesh and blood? Only fools make efforts on the efforts made by others. You cannot be smarter than the angels. By the way, who are you to succeed where angels failed? Wait, wait. Are you the angel that failed or are you the very authority that is 
forcing angels to fail. Are you? I'm very impressed by your zeal and your exuberance. Thank you. But I will advise you, open your eyes and see before it becomes too late for you to see again. <laughs> but uh, my boss told me something when I told him that you came visiting. He said that you are an expert when it comes to romance. And looking at you as you stand here now, I can see the reality of that statement. Because you look like the very romance in flesh and blood. Look at your eyes. Looking so sexy. You know, looking so honey. I am equally an expert in romance. And there are several things I can do when the doors are closed. You, you know what I'm talking about? Could you please give me your telephone number? You know, the sun is much. We can't say much here. But if I have your number, there are lovely things I'm going to tell you over the telephone concerning love. You know love. Love and hatred has a very tiny line in between them. Get to know the true color of the line. Then you and I can settle for the romance of country. Good day. This is one experience I want to have. To have the opportunity to romance the Antichrist in person or possibly <laughs> the chief apostle of the Antichrist. Antichrist is a woman or a man. Whatever. last person I expected to visit me. I'm really surprised at your visit. <laughs> and uh, why should you be surprised at my visit? You and I were in the army together and uh, people knew us as friends. <laughs> or are you saying that I'm no longer your friend? Yeah, um, we were in the army together and you are such an excellent soldier. No. Well, but all that is history now. Exactly. We are now in different divides of the world. Uh, you never really visited me. You can't say you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, let's forget about that. Since you have refused to come to me, it is only natural that I shall come to you. Well, in any case, you are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Ferdinand, your son, is he in? Oh, you are looking for Ferdinand. I hope there's no problem. No problem. No problem at all. Um, he's my boy. We get on very well. Well, the truth is that I can't even account for that boy's movement. At times he doesn't even come home for days. But uh, in any case, I will let him know that you came here looking for him as soon as he comes back. It is absolutely urgent. Please tell him it is very, very important. As soon as he comes back, I'll deliver your message. Thank you. Well, I cannot live without giving you something. Um, for you. I am sorry, Ononeni, but you are sounding weird. What exactly do you mean? I mean that man parading himself as Chief Ibanugo is evil. He knows much more than what he told us regarding the death of my sister, his wife. You see, that was exactly what your brother said. Of course. But now that we are here, let me ask you this question. Do you really think that Iwanugo was involved in the death of his wife? <laughs> you don't know him. I know him very well. He is deeply involved in cultism. My sister, before she died, was suspecting him of taking her womb. 
That was why my sister did not conceive except that initial and only child. You see, I don't want it to seem as if I don't want to understand what you are telling me. But let me ask you, do you think that somebody can take away the womb of a woman and that woman will still be alive to say that this person took away my womb? Are you telling me that you do not want to believe me, Noruka? Believe me! It's not as if I am disbelieving you, but let me ask you this question. Did she really go to a doctor to confirm that her womb was tampered with? You know, we are in a civilized society. We can't be behaving as if we are in dark ages. It appears this man has brought you over, Noruka. But tell him that we must never relent any effort to see him punished. He is in ritualism. And whoever is there must never go unpunished. Tell him that. Yeah, I thank you for your kind gesture, but you can keep your money. I don't need it. You are refusing money that I am giving you from my heart? Uh, well, the truth is that you came here looking for Ferdinand, and that boy has proven to be a very bad son who entered the mother's womb through the back gate. I'll let him know that you came here looking for him. You can keep your money. Thank you very much. I don't need it. In this life, so much work to do. The beauty of life lies in dignity. Make you not get, see how mother gets. Make you first to get. If you first to get, I saw you go turn, now your head go crash. I can sense deep down those fears, those crazy ideas on your mind. Let's not destroy the bond God has given. Cause I know I am, I'm very glad that you've been able to convince them that I didn't steal the money. I mean, I'm, I'm not a thief. But I, I'm here on a completely different mission entirely. Can you help me by telling me what you know about Chief Ebuwanugu? Chief Ebuwanugu is not a good man and can hardly be your role model. Why do you ask? Okay, sir, in plain words, straightforward answer. Is he into rituals or not? That's exactly what I'm telling you. His in-laws did not take part in his wife's burial. There was a general belief that he used the wife for ritual. My good friend, Mr. Nune, told me that he first took her womb. Then later he took her heart. You see, they cannot assume this if they weren't suspecting anything. It's... is that the entire truth? But why are you suddenly interested in Chief Ibuanugo? He's an evil man and if you continue to follow him, he will destroy you. He can't destroy me. I mean, he cannot destroy me. Men who get destroyed chose to be destroyed. He cannot destroy me. One, one more question, sir. Do you know the name of his late wife? She was called Magdalene, a very beautiful woman. Do I know what, you, uh, what is going on in your mind? Uh, no, I'm, j <laughs> I'm just trying to put some um, analysis together, you know, uh, as against what I heard and, and what you've told me. That's, I was just, yeah. I'm interested in knowing what you heard. Well, for a fact, I can tell you it's not about you, sir. It's not about you. Huh. Look, men that are men don't take money from Chief Ibuanugo. I'm asking you, what are you doing with him? You know what? Uh, I think I think you have a problem just like my father. You you refuse to, to, to move on in life. You 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 rather stay in your struggle forever. That's not the way it should be. Everybody should strive to move forward in life. I mean, the, the rich people, whenever they tell poor people how they made it, the poor ones rather stay poor because they don't have the guts, they don't have the heart to, to do whatever the, that person did to become rich. And that is, that is sad. But I can tell you, I'm moving forward. I'm here to, to attain the highest height. Anyway, thank you very much. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you around, sir. Thank you. Make you not take, see how mother gets, make you first to get. Forced to get, my soul you go turn, now your head go crash. I can sense the deep 
Remember the lovely things you told me the first time you came to me. You promised to love me. You stood before the priest and promised and vowed to love me till death. You did not betray me. You betrayed yourself. You killed the woman you promised love. This world is vanity. And you, Chifiba Nugo, ah! in the center of vanity. Oh, I'm going to use the extraterrestrial power of Bebo the Triangle. She needs a man, a young man, strong, virile. We will sink him into her grave. And he is going to keep her permanently busy in the land beyond that she won't have the time ever to get out here and disturb you. Who will banish her permanently away from this place. Permanently. Permanently. In this life, so much work to do. The beauty of life lies in dignity. Make you not take, say another get, make you first to get. I cannot say that I know much about uh, rituals and uh, spirits. But if I may advise you with what is happening now, leave that company. Huh? Uncle? Why are you saying this? Why are you repeating what everybody is saying? Uncle, this company is a company that I met on the verge of collapse. The company was about to die. And I was able to revive this company. As we speak now, the company is beginning to gather momentum. The company is picking up. Why are you asking me to leave when you know that it is not professional for me to leave? I am a professional manager, Uncle. Professional managers do not leave a company anyhow. There must be a reason and there is no reason for me to leave. Why are you asking me to leave when I'm doing well, uncle? I am talking to you as an elder. Yes, I know. What I see sitting in my living room here as also a Bateli Bife, you cannot see. Even if you climb a tall tree. I heard that this woman was killed by her husband. And how Barrier was uh, shrouded in controversies. And that is why that woman is out to destroy the man by forcing out all his good managers. My son, why can't you follow the step of your predecessors before you pay an ultimate price? Oku, why on earth will I follow the step of my predecessor? My predecessor, he was an idiot. What does he know? He was a nobody. I am a professional manager. I cannot just do what every fool does. Why, why would I leave? Uncle, listen to me. Because you are just judging this woman based on what people are saying. You don't know the other side of this woman. Now I want to communicate. Uncle, listen. My boss himself told me in confidence that the woman we are talking about is an expert when it comes to romance. <laughs> you, you, you don't know me because you, you see me as, as, as Larry. I am also professional. In romance, uncle, and I am not seeing the idea of taking this woman to a five star hotel. Uncle, I'm not going to be heartless to take her to any nonsense hotel, it's going to be a five star hotel, and I'm going to expose this woman to the kind of romance she has never seen in her life behind closed doors. Why can't you? I want I came to you because you're my uncle, I want you to encourage me. You understand? I don't know why you're discouraging me now. You told me with this your mouth that the woman said. You cannot succeed where angels fell. I am not an angel. Larry, why are you going out personally to a woman that is out for vengeance? 
Oh, uncle, do you know you're, you're not my only uncle? Yes, I know. I have many uncles. You know. Paternal, maternal, I have many uncles. I do come to you because you are you are an also. And, and I know that an also cannot just talk anyhow. Why are you beginning to talk anyhow now? Do, are you not aware that we live in in, in one nonsense world where people just talk anyhow? Uncle, as you're standing here now, can you say that you are sure that it was my booze, Shifi Banugo, that actually killed that woman? Uncle, um, but uncle, you, you yourself, you should know. It is no longer possible for anybody to die in this modern world where we live without somebody from somewhere saying the person was attacked, the person was killed by witchcraft, the person was killed by wizard. When everybody, somebody, somebody has sent missiles, spiritual missiles from somewhere. You know, people are saying mistakes. How can you say that it was actually my boss that killed that woman? No, nobody seems to die in natural death anymore. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> you correct me now. You see, I have this unacceptable feeling that you want to die. Huh? Yes. But I have advised you as an uncle. And I strongly believe that your mother, I mean my sister in her grave, will not be angry with me now for not have guided you well. Because I have told you what I think that is very good for you. I advise you again, leave that very company before you die. <coughs> uh, uncle, uh, sorry uncle, don't be offended. But, but, your sister, my mother will be very angry. <coughs> uncle, you, you're not advising me now, you're just, you're, just, you're discouraging me. You're discouraging me. I don't know why you're doing this. Encourage me. There is nothing in this your small head. So don't think that you know anything. I could not be offended. No verse at all. My brain, my brain is not small. My head is not small. Your, your head and my head. Sorry. Which one is bigger? Oh, don't worry. Let me carry myself. Come. Please. Your verse. I beg. I don't have time for this poverty talk. Ferdinand, come here. Does it mean that you have decided to ruin yourself? What are you doing with Ibanugo? Old man, you cannot provoke me. You and I, we, we're not on the same level. I have left you far, far behind and I'm way ahead. So you don't have the right to talk to me like that. Alright? Now whatever business I have with Chief is strictly cash. Does that answer your question? Don't you know that he's a ritualist? Is it news? I mean, poor people, that's what they always say. In fact, everybody in the world, once somebody has succeeded in this life, they will say you are either a cultist or a ritual killer or wanting 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 is it news shut up your mouth can't you understand that people don't talk for nothing don't you know that he used his wife for rituals i mean Ferdinand, can't you use your brains for once what are you doing with somebody who has no friend and Ferdinand? why because he's avoiding you he's avoiding people like you you see, he doesn't want you to run him down because you have nothing in this world. He cannot hang out with you. So he comes to visit me. He rolls with people like me because we know what success is about. Determination and, and making it in life. Wait, why are you even accusing Chief? Isn't that the same thing you did to my mother? Ferdinand, you are telling me to my face that I killed my wife, your mother? You cannot intimidate me by opening your eyes wide. Mm. It, it doesn't serve any purpose at all. You see, the only difference between you and Chief is that whatever he did to his wife worked. And yours didn't. Why? Because you are cursed. Yours didn't work. You can never make it here. And I'm telling you, go back to your village. Onija is not your place. This is my generation. It's my time. Let me move ahead. Freda, let me warn you again. Let me warn you again. By the time this evil you are planning gets matured, you will destroy yourself. Ferdinand, you will destroy yourself. I'm also telling you that whatever curses you are raining will never work because you don't have money. Chief came to visit me, his friend, because we roll like that. Money bags, that's what we do. Poor old man. Make you not take, say I'm all I get, make you first to get. There is one thing we do as priests. We do encourage people to solve the problems they could solve. You don't have to come to priest every time because of something you know you can do as a man. I'm sorry for the theme, but as, as I told you already, I came all the way from Onesha. 
and that's because I heard you are very powerful. I came to you to explain these problems that I'm having. Is there nothing you can do in your individual capacity as Father Thing? The church is against any form of communion with the dead. All you have to do is to build your faith in the things of the Lord. Come to Mass always and continue to build your faith in Christ. Spirits cannot destroy a man who put his hope and trust in God, my brother. Father Tim, everybody seems to believe that the best option I have is to leave the place where I work now. I don't understand. You know, my father used to say that it's only cowards that run without being sure of what is pursuing them. I make bold to say that I'm not a coward. And I'm not going to run without being sure of what I'm running from. That's why I came to you to explain these problems. What do you want me to do in your capacity as Father Tim? Beloved, I'm not asking you to live because of the appearance of a woman that is alleged to be evil. You know we don't believe in all those things. I'm asking you to be strong in prayers and the Spirit of God will direct you what to do. May the Lord be with you. And also with you. But I want to ask you for something, please. What would that be, sir? Did you not see the parish priest, sir? No, I am done with the priest. But since after you directed me to where the priest is, have you left this place? Not at all, sir. I've been here. I've not gone anywhere, sir. Did you see anybody open this maca? Nobody has entered within the circumference sir, since I directed you to the parish priest, sir. Are you looking for anything, sir? Come. This is your father thing. Sitting down inside that place. Mm -hmm. Tell me the truth. How powerful is he? Ha! Ah. Basically, sir, all within priests of the Catholic Church are very, very powerful, sir. People get their results based on their individual faith. I don't know what your problems are, but I am very, very sure that Father Team India is capable of solving any problem that troubles you, sir. Really? Very sure, sir. Is, is there any problem, sir? everything spiritually and physically possible to force me to leave a promising company that I'm running to the very best of my ability. I don't want to go back to the bank to continue counting millions of people when I cannot lay claim to even one million. Why is she doing this? I don't, 
I don't, I don't want you to concern yourself with the, of the rubbish that they're talking about me. I want you to focus in on the money. Oh yes, I'll pay you handsomely if you do the job for me. Um, Chief, uh, I just, where, where, where is the body buried? Oh, in the house here, yeah. in one of the rooms. Uh, you want me to show you? Well, well, I just wanted to find out, um, would you want me to open the grave or you will get people to... Oh. to... <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Because yourself. I'm ready. Don't worry yourself about uh, opening the grave. Huh. The spiritualist said he's going to use a particular powder from the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, yes. And uh, there are spiritual ways of opening the grave. You know, he will handle all that. All I want from you is that young man that we are going to make to sink into the grave. Oh, yes. Chief, Chief, it, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, yes. I, I am on the ground. Ah. I'm out there I, and I know, I, I know. Yes. I, I, so, um, tell me, when, how soon do you want this, this, this young man? If I can get it today, oh, I will really, really appreciate it. Look, I want to do this thing as quickly as possible before this damn woman ruins my business completely. I will make something happen. I can do something real soon. I'm, I'm on the ground. I'm in town. I, I know how to go about these things. It, it's, it's not a problem. I'm just happy that I'm associating with you. I think for me it's the biggest dream come true because you are a millionaire and I always draw motivation from you. I aspire to be a millionaire myself. Oh, the fact that I'm see. just... <laughs> yeah, look, I, 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 I look at you, I see uh, that um, you, you, you're determined. Yes, it takes determination to become a millionaire. And I see determination written all over you. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Uh, um, have a beer or two. Eh? Eh? Chief, I've never seen money this much. It's only the beginning. I know, I've never seen money this much. <laughs> You're welcome. Chief, Chief, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're Chief, welcome. Thank you. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Come, what's your problem? Huh? Don't, don't you want to succeed in life? Do you want to continue struggling? Don't you want to be one of the big boys of this town? Don't you want to be a millionaire? Of course I want to be a millionaire. Then what's the problem? Who doesn't want to be a millionaire? Uh -huh. But one has to, you know, start from somewhere, gradually. That was why I wanted to start with that cow business with chicken. But I lost my money, so now I don't have any other choice but to wait for another opportunity. And that is the opportunity I am presenting to you. I am presenting the opportunity to you. And that is why I want you to forget about this cow nonsense. We are in 2010. What, do we, what, what are we doing with the with, with cow business? Don't you want to be the big boys? Riding a big car? Make L? What's your problem now? I will take you there and these guys will make you a millionaire. Ferdinand, I want to move gradually in life. That's my plan. Step by step, slow and steady. I don't want to make the kind of money that will take my peace away and I won't be able to sleep. Why, why are you always talking? Why are you always talking like your father? Why are you always talking like this old man? What's your problem, my brother? What's wrong with you? Money gives inner peace. Without money, you don't have peace. You really don't care whether it rains or it shines because AC the motto now. Everything just day. Whatever you want, you have it because you have cash. You have peace. I will take you. And I'm only doing this for you because you are my brother. Any other person, I won't even think twice. These people you feel can change my life well. They have changed lots of people's lives. Different, different, different guys all around the world. They've done it. And the secret is this. If you want to succeed in life, you have to go through somebody who, who, who has already made it. A poor man cannot make another poor man successful. It's not possible. 
you need somebody who is up there to show you the route to take how to attain it that's the way it works now these guys they've promised me to give me international businesses and i told them i said listen i cannot do this thing without my brother my brother is my soldier we move together so we have to do it together and they can't mess with me now they know me they know me they can't mess with me come on this is our time good day sir uh, i have discussed with my colleagues and uh, we have decided we are not staying back to fight uh, the unknown uh, manager you know man and spirit don't trade together not at all and uh, in fact we we will resign in group what are you talking about i asked you to go and encourage your colleagues to get ready for the battle i already tagged no retreat no surrender why would you go and encourage your subordinates to resign in group why i don't know where you're going the money we are paying you here is the highest any security personnel can be paid. There is no company around here that can pay you what we are paying you here. So why would you say you are leaving? Manager, point of correction, I did not engineer them. Not at all. Uh, my colleagues are not boys, we are men. We inquired and uh, we realized what Madame Magdalene was. Uh, you can stay behind and prove yourself, Emmanuel. We don't want to see what you have seen. Vunka statement, my manager. I order you to stop. Go back here. I was trained to obey the last order. Good. Now, if you are sure you are trained to obey the last order, I give you the last order now. Go back to your duty post with your subordinates. We are going to fight that lady to a standstill. Nobody is going anywhere. Go. I had your last order, manager, but we are not ready to die yet. Madame Magdalene was our little girl's wife and uh, she died under mysterious circumstances and we are not, we cannot fight oppression, no retreat, no surrender with the spirit. I should get them mad. I should buy your book, come on. The more you live, the less you see. And the more you live, the more you see. Madam Magdalene, I don't know where you are. But I'm already pitying you. <laughs> because I am going to grab you and expose you to the kind of romance no woman has ever been exposed to in her entire life. <laughs> you came at the right time. You know, I was actually thinking about you. I was told that you are an expert when it comes to romance. I am equally an expert. As, I, as I'm looking at you now, I am, I am feeling honey, if you know what I mean. You know, I'm not afraid, you know why. I'm supposed to be afraid because I know you are a spirit. But I'm not afraid. Because I know you are beautiful and uh, you are a romantic baby, you know. I want us to do less of cosmic. Let us do less of extraterrestrial. I want us to do less of spiritism. Let's do less of mermaid. All this rubbish, nonsense mermaid. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I want us to settle down for serious romantic business. I'm going to grab you and expose you to the kind of romance you have never been exposed in your entire life. See the nonsense letter that the security dropped? They say they have resigned. Only two of us are in this company now. See, if you see all this nonsense computer, all this, I can knock off all these things. We're going to transform this table to something else, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna lie down here and you know we do a lot of things why, why am i even talking when the lady seems to be ready for me no sitting down talking nonsense madam magdalene 
Do you know Cecilia that you are a very beautiful lady? Look at you. I don't even know why you are spirit, you know? <laughs> so, look at you. Good. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to expose you to something. I know the, the reason why you decided to attack this place and not any other place is because you have not tested here. The place is hot. I'm telling you, see, look, look. We, we, we remove all these things here and we're going to transform this office to something. <laughs> <laughs> You was like somebody on that attack. Hey! Maybe you know, based on that thing you told me now, I don't know why he was running. I did not see him with this battle. Yes? Hey! But then, um, it is possible he has commenced this oppression. Yes! Commenced oppression. Oppression, no retreat, no surrender. That is what he said. Though. Hey! Wait, could he possibly be the reason why you resigned? I have been saving your life, but you don't know. Eh? Listen, let me tell you. I asked you to resign because this the entire company is, has decided to become a base of the occultic people. Eh? Ghost is hovering, hovering all the, all the, all the, in this company. Ghost. <coughs> Listen, let me tell you. If I have told him that we have resigned, and if you want to remain here, nah. Many different things are happening now that I think we must do something fast. Is there any other thing that happened? She's appearing in London. In London? In London. Who told you that? My estate agent. She called me and told me that uh, one Madame Magdalene came to the house and threatened every tenant. Warned them to leave the house or die in the house. Well, the tenants, and she kept appearing and disappearing in their presence. <laughs> of course, the whole place is evacuated now. Hello? Sir, you refuse to tell me. Finally, I was able to find out what it means on my own, sir. Uh, what are you talking about? Now I know who Madame Magdalene was. And I know what she meant when she said power. I'm not ready to die, sir. Your very strange advice that I should explore the woman in her was made in bad taste. As I'm driving along this road, sir, I am regretting the reason why I even listened to you in the first place. Why I decided to take advantage of a womanhood. Larry, Larry, please. Um... I want you to come, come to my place right away, and I will explain everything to you. And I can, I can assure you that what is happening has absolutely nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not ready to pay the ultimate price for what doesn't concern me. As I'm talking to you now, sir, I have resigned. I'm calling you to let you know that I have resigned, sir. Listen. No, 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 no you, can, you, 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 you can't resign. No, you, you have, you have, to, you have, you have to say. Look, I am ready to, 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 to review your salaries upwards, of course. You are making an offer that I already made to even the chief security officer and he refused to stay. Sir, nobody wants to die. I'm still a young man. 
I'm, I'm leaving, sir. In the next 24 hours, I'm going to submit whatever that I ought to submit back to you, sir. I'm leaving. I'm so sorry, but I'm leaving, sir. Uh, uh, but, but you, 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 you... Santawa. Magdalene is appearing everywhere. Is that what the caller just said? That was my manager. The one I pulled from the bank. Magdalene has made him resign. Does she want to bankrupt me or, 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 or something? Well, you see, that is why we have to get a young man fast. You don't call it sacrifice. It is not a sacrifice. It is called maritime marriage. It is the zenith of occult sanctification. We are going to wed both of them on her grave. And he is going to hold her permanently there. He will ensure that she does not appear anywhere else. Right. Right. Santawa, right. Yes. Permanently. Did you finally get from Ferdinand the business he has with Chief Ibanugo? He didn't tell me. I told him that it was Chief Ibanugo that killed his wife. He turned around and told me that I was the person who killed their mother. You are not serious, are you? I'm not joking. His only concern is to mingle with those people who have made money. How they made money is not his concern. I'm sure you won't allow him to continue with this. So what do you expect me to do? Bring him and start flogging him? Sit him down and make it clear to him that ritual is wrong. And that as a young man from a Christian home, he should be wary of the company he keeps. See, eh? He doesn't want to listen to anybody. He told me that Chief Ibuanugo is his friend. I don't even know why he wants to destroy himself. Well, I'm just looking at him. You made me chase you all the way there. Huh? Please, please don't kill me. Please. You made me chase you. Please, please, please don't kill me. 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 Please, Ferdinand can't hurt Anthony. What kind of dream is this? They are too close for this. That Ferdinand. Who is there? Who is there? Who? Wait, wait, wait. What now? Look, no, I don't mean to offend you. Don't, don't misunderstand me, but I want to know where we're going to. We are going to meet the people that will make us millionaires. Why, do you want to die a poor man? I don't want to remain poor, but I want to know exactly where we're going to. Anthony, I'm, I'm tired of these, these questions. I'm tired. I said we're going to meet the guys that will turn us into millionaires. Is there anything wrong with that? I don't, don't, don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. I trust you, you're my brother, but what I don't understand is why, 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 why now? Huh? Why must the meeting be held at night? Why now? We had the whole day. Why didn't we go then? Now, night. Why? Remember, I told you some time back 
that sleep is for the poor. Rich people don't sleep like that. I mean, if the poor man will sleep eight hours, averagely, a rich man will sleep like two, three hours. They work during the day and in the night is when they sit down and think of ideas and think of big things. So sleep is for the poor. They, they, they sleep their poverty away. They wake up, they sleep, they, they sleep, they sleep. Come on, why, why all these questions? Do you want to be poor? Do you want to be like your father? Don't be naive, Anthony, please. I'm tired of all of this. If you want to go back, that's the way. You know your way back, right? Ferdinand! Ferdinand, wait! He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers, and under His wings I shall take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. Oh God, you said your truth shall be my shield and buckler. Father, you said under your wings I will take refuge. My King and my Lord. Father, Lord, I don't know what this dream is about, oh Lord. I cover Anthony with the blood of Jesus. I declare and I decree that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. For Father, you said in your word that whatever I decree on earth is decreed in heaven. And whatever I lose on earth is lost in heaven. Whoever is attacking, whoever they are planning against him, their plans will never work. Father, everything that is leveled against him shall be null and void. Father, I cover him with your blood. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. Father, Lord, thank you, Father, for answered prayers. I give you all the glory, my King and my Lord. I worship you. Father, may your name be exalted, O oh Lord. I thank you for prayers answered, O oh Lord. Thank Thank you for defeating the enemy. Thank you for giving me victory. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. May you be exalted forever and ever. Father, I worship you. Be thou exalted, my King and my Lord. Be thou exalted, everlasting King of glory. For you are the author and finisher of my faith. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. Anthony, why are you looking around as if you are afraid of something? Friend. Is this not Chief Iwanugo's gate? His house? Here? Yes, it's his house. This is his house. This is the gate. Is, is there a problem? Why do you ask? Is he the millionaire you want us to meet? He's the millionaire. But there are other millionaires inside already waiting for us. There are people in there who want, who, who want to put us on the path of progress. Why are you making things difficult for you and I? What is the problem? Is there something wrong with it? Whether Chief is part of the meeting or not? I'm not entering this compound. Anthony, don't be naive like your father. We've got into this point and you want to go back. Look, we need to take risk in life. In order for us to succeed, we need to take a risk. Rich people take risk all the time. We are right here at the gate and you want to go back? What, what's wrong with you? Look, I can go back. I can go back anytime I want to go back. Ah, that I want to meet with millionaires doesn't include a ritual killer. Everybody knows him as a ritual killer. This meeting has nothing to do with rituals. It has nothing to do with it. We, 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 we are chief importers of goods, all right? And he's looking for a distributor. Now, being as good as I am, I, I told him, I said, my brother can be that distributor. We can make millions in commission just by distributing. Think, Anthony, this is big business. Isn't it better than selling those nonsense cows? Easy money. Ferdinand, I don't mean to offend you, but my spirit does not agree with this, this whole thing. Leave it. Anthony, 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 just listen to me. You can come, 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 come inside and don't say a word. I will do all the talking. Just be part of the meeting. Don't say anything. Just watch. And maybe next time, you know, you'll be more comfortable and then you can you can be part of it. Just watch and listen to the planning. That's all. Fernand, my spirit is weak. Very weak. I cannot continue. Uh, Anthony! What kind of life is this? How am I going to get this idiot to go inside? You will not believe it. We came very close last night. 
By now, I am sure everything would have been over, done and sealed. But, but suddenly, when we got to the gate, he just refused to step into the compound. I don't know what happened. He just went cold. Did, did you tell him anything? I told him... No, I didn't tell him the real story. I, I gave him another story. I, uh, he bought that. I told him that... I had some millionaire friends who were trying to connect me with an international business and I told him that I told them that I wouldn't do the business without my brother so I had to come with him and he agreed and everything we, we, we just got to the, the, the gate that close chief and the boy just switched he, he just went cold and I, I'm still confused as to what could have gone wrong well if uh, money is the problem, I'll give you more. But I want that young man. I want that young man brought here for sacrifice as soon as possible. I understand, Chief. No. I will fire my manager and make you the manager. And in that company, I have in excess of one billion naira to manage. And that will be solely you. You will be in charge of the day-to-day -day management decisions and I will not interfere with them. Chairman, you, you will make me your manager of, of, of that company? Yes. <laughs> Chairman, if it is bringing the boy, I will bring him. But please stop pulling my legs. I am telling you what I am going to do. You know, I like to see young men who work very hard to secure their future. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. You, 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 really <laughs> you really mean it? That <laughs> I just, I, you know, I, I just knew it, Chairman. I, I just knew that one day I will be a big man. I remember when you sent me to your office and the manager was sitting there and, and tossing me around. I just knew I would be in that seat sooner than later <laughs> thank you very much Shabba. you know I, I like young men who work very very hard to secure their future thank you thank you Shabba. <laughs> for you Chairman, you know? Chairman, you're my chairman, you're my chairman, you're spoiling me. It is only the beginning. <laughs> okay. In fact, it is before the beginning. This, this, this is the before the beginning. Exactly. In other words, you've seen nothing yet. <laughs> Chema, I'm very excited. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're I will get him here. You're The truth is that I do not believe in dreams at all. So asking me to believe in something you saw in your dream, it does not make sense to me. It doesn't. But I saw him clearly. I saw your brother clearly. It's not like I'm saying you should be wary of him, but it was fading and I saw. And the bad thing about nightmare is that the person you see may not actually be the person that will hurt you. The summary of the whole thing is that you should just be careful. That's it. No, I don't agree with you. I know my brother. I know him very well. He loves me. My brother loves me and he has my interest at heart. Uh, just that his approach is wrong. He doesn't believe in being patient. He wants everything right now. But apart from that, I know that. Ah, Ferdinand is my brother now. But people like that are very, very dangerous. Yes. Anyway, I, I prayed very well against the dream and I'm sure it's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> I also told my father about our wedding and he said I should wait for my brother. Well, I also don't believe in washing things. God's time is the best. <laughs> <laughs> At the right time, I'm sure things will work out fine. I love it. <laughs> I always like the way you talk. <laughs> Alright, let me check something I have on the file. No, you won't do that. Ah, 
Why would I be here then you go to the kitchen to check what's on the fire? What's that? You better remain here as the boss while I, the woman, go to the kitchen and mind the kitchen. Relax. <laughs> Just like you said, no, you will not do that. Let's be together. <laughs> <laughs> I just passed here now. Were you, were you here when I passed? Men use caterpillar to destroy in hours what took them years to build. Don't you think caterpillar is an enemy to man? What, what, do, you, what, what do you mean by caterpillar man? I, I don't work with caterpillars. What, what are you saying? The conspiracy against the innocent is that an it appears you are innocent. I want you to remain innocent and clamorous of things you cannot explain. You, 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 you are talking weird. You're getting me confused. What, what do you mean? Be the innocent and know the kind of advice you take. Anytime it looks too real, to be true, it can hardly be. I'm, 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 I'm. See your face. Ah, uh, you small boy. <laughs> <laughs> You, you're looking with surprise. Look, continue now. Look, designer stuff. Uh, don't try me. <laughs> Let me make it a little poetic for you. I saw the gold mine. I called my own brother. I said, brother, come. Look, gold mine. Let's go. He said no, he refused. Now the business has presented itself. Signed, sealed, all for me. And you're asking me what Fender. is this? <laughs> He's looking at me like with surprise. What do you do, Success is what? Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you do, This. Suits. These are all designer suits. What do you expect? <laughs> wait, 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 Ben, and wait. Where did you get these things from? Where? <laughs> it takes a man with the heart of a lion to do great things. And that's what I've just done. I am now the manager of that company. <laughs> you see, I was smart that day. Very smart. I told my chairman that you weren't feeling too well. So he showed some, some sympathy. So you still have an opportunity. You have another chance. <laughs> wait, 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 just look. Can I? Something we are not trying. Wait, 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 relax. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I still get something from you? Of course. Yeah? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. For as long as I'm your brother, you are part of that company. Now, I'm telling you that whatever goods my chairman brings to this town, you will supply. You will market it. I'm telling you. Listen, God is now delivering us. He will make us crush poverty. <laughs> I regret pulling out that night. If I right now, I'm ready. My mind is made up. I want to be part of that company. Exactly. For as long as I remain what I am, you are part of this company. But listen, we need to keep this business confidential between you and I. We cannot tell the old man because he's nothing but bad luck. Anthony, listen to me. Believe me or not, I said he's bad luck and we don't need that. Ferdinand, uh, I don't agree. You mean we shouldn't tell our father about this, this whole thing, this plan? What's your problem? Anthony, what is your problem? Huh? Why do you want to tell him? I said he's our problem. The old man is our problem. I detected it. I know it is. And I've been attacking him directly. And that is how come even now we have this little bit to show. Leave him out of this. Just block him out. Block him. Chalk him. Block him. We will succeed. Ferdinand, I had a dream. And in that dream, I, there was this lady I saw. And she was telling me to mind the kind of advice I listened to. And honestly, this... this this your advice, it sounds like one of those ill-fitted advice. Anthony, what's your problem? What's your problem? What, what is your problem? What is your problem? I'm talking about reality. I'm talking about real money and, 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 and designer clothes. I'm talking about success. Can, can you see what you are living in this mess? Can you see? Hey? Are you talking about dream? We can make it together. Why have you stopped? Why have you stopped? Ferdinand, I just remember the advice that lady gave me in my dream and I just went cold. I Ferdinand, 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 are you really sure this this business is for me? Are you sure? What do you mean? Well, what do you mean is, 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 is the business for you? I am the one trying to help us get us out of poverty. And you ask me if the business is for you or not. These guys are millionaires. Behind this door, they are waiting for us. What are you talking about? Are you remembering some stupid dream? We, we, we don't need that. We, we, I'm trying to help us. What's your problem? Anthony. You are my brother, and I know you will not lead me astray. I, I, astray. I, I, I trust you. I won't lead you astray. I am trying to help us. We need this more than anything. Now stop, stop behaving like a child. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before he gave you the company, did he ask you to bring anything? Did he, did he demand anything from you? I wasn't asked to do anything. This guy is trying to help us, give us connection. And it's the same thing you did the last time you stopped at the gate. What is wrong with you? I, I, I'm, 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 I don't even know why I'm even forcing you to become rich. Maybe I should just go on my own. You, you feel like you're going to go back. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't go. Don't go. know if these guys have cameras here or not and we're standing here making a fool of ourselves can we just go inside Anthony <laughs> oh okay all right smile smile The only reason why I came here tonight 
is because I have given you my words. My spirit is not as strong as it used. When I open this box of unicorn to recharge the powder that I am going to use here tonight, I discover that a crocodile has laid an egg inside the box. This has never happened before. Santawa, don't, don't get me angry. Why are you telling me about your spirit not being as uh, high as it should be? And what business of, is it of mine? Uh, crocodiles uh, laying eggs in your box of unicorn or whatever. Magdalene, met me on my way to this place. She was begging me. She asked me not to stain my hands with the blood of that young man. Don't tell me that you suddenly become a weakling. Look, I am paying you more money than you will ever need in your lifetime. Baba, now prove to me that the occult masters who, 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 taught you, who taught you the art did not waste their precious time. Why are you wasting your time with the lousy advice of a woman? Why? Magdalene is not a woman. She is a ghost. She was begging me. Almost pushing me to a corner. At a point I became frustrated. Why are you calling her a male woman? Santa, now you listen to me. Magdalene was my wife. I was the one who deflowered her. And I say without sense of responsibility that I still remain the only man she ever knew. And still you kill her for money! Now will you shut up? Wicked man! Shut up! Magdalene a gift of persuasion. She will persuade you to do that which you had no intention of doing. But when she passed on, she reversed that, that uh, power. And she could uh, use those powers to make you not do that which you wanted to do. Don't fall for her antiques. Get your things together and let us go. Santawa, I will pay you double the money we agreed originally. Fernan. Fernan, we've been here for I, I don't know how long. How, how many more minutes are we going to wait now? Huh? Where are the millionaires you said we were coming to see? We've been here for I don't know how long, but I've not seen anybody. Anthony, why do you want to be a child? Can't you grow up? What's your problem? These are big men, big boys, millionaires. They won't just get up and rush to an event. They will take their time. Besides, we need this more than they do. I said I would make us millionaires. If they say we should wait for 20 hours, we will wait. Because we need this business. What's your problem? I know, I know we need the business, but this place doesn't look like where people are waiting. Can you just relax? Why are you so quiet? The time is up!
Jimmy, I have done my part. Yes. I I, I, I brought my brother. We we've done all of this. I, I I need you to promise me that you make me the manager of your company before this grave. Promise me. Yes. Yes, my son. Not only will I make you a manager, but I'll also make you a part owner of the company. You will be able to make decisions, take decisions, and those decisions will stand. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll be the best manager you've ever had. Oh, you have proved to be a reliable, very reliable man. And I am, I'm not going to ever turn my back on you. Oh, thank you, Chairman. Mm -hmm. Life, so much work to do. What is the meaning of this? Why are all the chairs turned upside down? It is a physical manifestation of the spiritual exercise that we have just concluded. It means that all your sorrow, all your shame, have been scattered. They have been turned upside down. Magdalene, Let's not destroy the bomb. Make me on my way to this place. She was begging me. No sweats, no She asked me not to stain my hands with the blood of that young man. I have a different opinion entirely. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that. What we have just done is the perfect solution to the problem. It is the masters themselves that turn this place upside down. It is finished! The much we can do now is to celebrate. It is finished! Let's celebrate. <laughs> Okay, we thank God for everything. Yeah. Papa, I'm looking for Anthony. Anthony? He didn't sleep here. I'm the only person who slept here. Where did he sleep? I don't know. Maybe he followed Chike to the north. Uh, but Papa, he, he knew I'll be coming here today. He didn't tell me anything about traveling to the north. I don't know where he is. Maybe you find out from Chike. Uh, he, he should know his whereabouts. Papa, what of Ferdinand? Have you asked him? He might know. <laughs> Ferdy what? I should have inquired from Ferdinand. Instead of me to inquire from Ferdinand, 
I rather prefer to inquire from that madman who stays at uh, our Chandra roundabout. Ah. Huh? That boy has proven to be an irresponsible son. In fact, I don't even know why God punished me by giving me such an irresponsible person as a son. I don't know. You see, I don't know what exactly you think, but I know that so many people must have told you so many things. But the truth remains that I see you as a true African woman, in short, a virtuous woman. Let me tell you something. I hold you in high esteem. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, okay. Gentlemen, I I called you here to this office for one purpose. I, I know Chairman has already introduced me officially to you guys, so there will be no need for me to reintroduce myself in terms of uh, what I can do, uh, what is on my CV and all of that. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, I just needed to know that this is my office. Why are you raising your hand? I'm not finished talking. Can you just let me finish saying my statement before you say whatever you have to say? You want to cut in, in between my lines? Okay, you want to talk, talk. What do you want to say? With all due respect, sir, I did not plan to ask you any question. So why are you raising your hand? I just want to let you know what you've already decided, so you won't waste your time talking. Is that how you guys work around here? You just talk to your managers anyhow, cut in their statements, and I shouldn't waste my time talking? Is that how it works around here? Now listen you guys, what do you mean you've already decided on something? For as long as this company exists and I remain the manager, you cannot make a decision without me. So what have you decided on? Our decision was based on what we've already observed. In fact, we'd have been long gone before your arrival. But we viewed it as an act of wickedness, leaving this company without handing over to someone. And now that you've been shown to us as a new manager of this company, we are saying to you right here, right now. Gentlemen, uh, I share your sentiments and uh, I want to say let's put our grievances aside, okay? Uh, I have to admit, as much as I am the manager here, I must admit that I do need some old hands to help me push this company forward. So I will say you want to leave fine, but don't leave now. So we're very sorry that we've taken our decision already. If you are really counting on us, we're sorry for that. We are leaving, sir. Certainly. You want to leave? Why now? Why do you want to leave? Tell me. We're very sorry that the decision, we've taken it already. But the truth is, we are beginning to have doubt on your credibility. If you have the charisma of leading this company. He doesn't have it. So we've concluded already, sir, we are leaving. Nothing will stop us this time. We are leaving, sir. Nobody can stop us. Oh, so you guys, you doubt, it, it's about me, you're doubting my credibility. I you know what I can I do? Now listen, I'm not saying don't go, you can fucking leave, I don't care. But I'm telling you, that whatever property that you have in your possession that is for this company, you make sure you drop it. Because if I find out that you have in your possession anything that belongs to this company that I manage, I will have both of you arrested. Let's go, okay? That's a big motto that you Make sure you leave your jackets because they belong to this company. No. Idiots. His bad luck wants to creep in here. No, I'm not, I'm not going to allow it. I am not going to allow this. I mean, I've worked hard to get to where I'm at now. I can't let that happen. I can't. I do not understand. I don't understand what is going on. I am just coming from his house and his father said that he may have traveled with you to the north. So what are you saying? 
I, and I'm telling you that I did not travel to the north with him. Is this is not me. This is me now. You see, Anthony has not come to me for over a week now. And I, I cannot say or know his whereabouts. If he is not with you, then where is he? Where could he be? You see, I don't know why you're asking me these questions. I don't. I don't know where he is. He approached me for a business and I decided to help him because of the way he spoke to me. Anthony has never been my friend. Yes. And for the simple fact that we grew up together in Fege. That was why. Listen, even his father is of the opinion that he may have slept at your place last night. So what are you saying? You see, um, um, Antonia, go back to him and tell him that he did not sleep at <sighs> my place. Anthony is old. Government has refused to assist anybody. And young men are struggling on their own to survive. I, I don't know why you should be bothered you didn't, because you didn't come back just for one night. Mr. Nyaka, I was told that you are very close to the MD. And I called you in here to make an inquiry from you. Private inquiry. Apart from this closeness you share with the MD, do you have any other qualification that can compel me to retain you here as the head of marketing department? <clears throat> so, I'm a graduate of marketing. And in the four years I've worked under the former manager, I've gained some experiences. Good. I like that. Now, do you know the reason why the former manager was relieved of his appointment? And I was made the new manager now? Um, no, sir. We weren't told the reason why he was removed. But we were told that a good manager is coming. And, sir, sincerely speaking, so far, so good. Based on your work, you are better than the former manager. Mr. Nyak, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Thank you very much. Now, I will send for you when I need you. It's okay, sir. On your way out, Please let me tell the secretary there is a security man that I told her will be coming here today. And the time for the man to come is up is almost now. Sir, I saw the man there. He's there already. You saw the man? Yes, sir. But I asked him to wait. Please send him in. Okay, sir. You're excited. I don't become secret with the degree. I just Are you the new man? Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> you see, I asked them to go out of their way to find you. Look for this man and get this man. Because you proved to be a very good manager in the other company. And now that I find myself as one who is in charge of this very place, I decided that I'm going to surround myself with competent hands. <laughs> that's why I sent for you. And I believe that's why you are here. Thank God. God, God is working, you know. I have this plan, I want to turn this place around. Consider yourself employed again. Hey! <laughs> Can I say congratulations? Hello! God will bless you. I swear, it shall be well with you. Hey, at least the hungry one nearly came here, my wife. At least if I go home now, I will go home with a good news to my wife. Manager, thank you. No problem. Are you sure it was Chike you spoke with? Papa, I saw Chike. I saw Chike in full. He, he even said he did not travel to the north. He said he has not seen Anthony in one week. And where could he be? Papa, I don't know where he could be. Because I had a very bad dream some days ago. In that dream, Ferdinand was trying to kill, trying to kill Anthony. And just a few days after the dream, he has disappeared. 
I don't even ever want us to say that he disappeared. Anthony cannot disappear. And moreover, I don't personally believe in dreams. Papa. Papa, I'm worried. I'm worried because he does not go anywhere without telling me. Anthony does not do anything without talking to me. I don't believe he traveled. Papa Anthony cannot travel without telling me. And where could he be? Papa, this disappearance has something to do with that dream I had. Because in that dream, Ferdinand was with a god. He was trying to get at. What am I saying? He pulled the trigger. He pulled the trigger at, at, at Anthony. Hey, hey, hey. And when you call his mobile line, what does he say? Switched off. Papa, he says switched off. Nan is now whining and dining with Chief Iguanugo. Then Anthony's fiance dreamt of seeing him being shot by Ferdinand. Now Anthony is missing. Ferdinand is working with Chief Iguanugo. I'm not insinuating anything, but the sequence of these events is not good for the ears. You see, I'm very, very bothered. Something tells me that Ferdinand knows where Anthony is. Well, now when we see him, we must insist that he swears before our deity. Precisely before Tutun's of her glory that he does not know the whereabout of his brother. <laughs> Why do you want to take me to the shrine? You know I'm a Christian. I don't want to appear before any deity. You are underestimating the problem we have here. How do you think he will say the truth if this is not done? Well, I, I think the ideal thing should be that we have to confront him with our views and then sit back and watch his reaction. A man has got missing with no trace, yet you still insist in using diplomacy to solve the problem. I don't have any problem, but do remember that when a man is looking for his missing item, he looks for it where he thought he kept it and where he knew he never kept it. Sit down. You're welcome. You know, every time I sit with excellent black beauties like you, oh yes, I feel on top of the world. Really? Oh yes. I, but I don't feel the same when I go to Europe and uh, I'm surrounded by your counterparts. Yeah. Hmm. Chief. You've been sounding so happy these days. We wonder what the source of your happiness is. The paymaster is happy, which means the money will continue to flow out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like spending money on you because you know how to translate money to beauty. Oh. That's true. You're beginning to flatter us. Me? I'm too old for that. I'm telling you the truth. You know, each time I see you, I see the money I am spending on you staring me in the face. You know, money, money has a, 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 a relationship with beauty. Yeah. And you should count yourself lucky that you are close to the bag of money. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, why don't you dance for me again? Really? Yes. And this yeah. time, let's boogie down. Okay. This time, join. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh. Will you tell this man to get 
out of the way. Because he will die and it's poverty that will kill him. I don't have time for all of that. Will you keep quiet and listen to what you are saying? Your brother has got missing for days and you are not bothered. What is wrong with you? I am not bothered because I know where Anthony is. I know where he is. So you guys need to stop spreading that stupid rumors that you are spreading. You mean Anthony told you where he is? Please, where's the place? You want me to tell you? Yes. Look, everybody is tired. Tired of your name and the poverty that surrounds it. We're tired. And that is why Anthony didn't tell you he was traveling to Europe. Wait. You mean Anthony traveled to Europe without telling me his father? We are tired. Did you hear me? Sick and tired of you and this life. We've all moved on. I've always known it. We've all come to realize that you are that, that bad luck rope that has been pulling us all back. That setback. We don't need you in our lives anymore. Okay? So he's in Europe having a good, quiet life. And so am I. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I have fun. So you live your life. We're just waiting for you to die. And when you die, they call us. We bury you in poverty. Thank you. I've had you. But can you give me his address? Is this man okay? Is, is this man okay? He wants me to give him Anthony's number. So that you do what? Write to him? Post him particles of poverty? I said we've left it behind. You and that life, we've left it behind. We are moving forward. It took Anthony a while to understand it eventually. Don't come and spoil things. Stay here. We're waiting for you to die. And then we'll bury you in poverty. We have moved on. You see, something tells me that Ferdinand is telling lies. I don't believe you. When you see the matter of a liar, you will know. I believe him. And I think we should start praying for Tony as he starts a new life in Europe. What are you doing here? Are you not happy with the young man we give you? He's supposed to make you happy. If you're not, then give us a description of any boy that you want. And I can always initiate another maritime marriage. I don't need innocent boys that don't know anything. I need men. Men like you. <laughs> like me. Oh no you don't. You need boys. Strong. Healthy. Full of life and vitality. Boys that will damn the very depth of hell and hit you at every angle that you consider pleasing. I don't need boys. I need a man. A real man. Like you. Like me. I thought your husband was right when he said you are responsible. Or did your libido just increase that death? You don't need men. You need boys. I pleaded with you to spare the life of that young man. You refused. Yes. You killed him. I killed him. You killed yourself, Santawa. You killed him.
Why are you worried that my brother has gone to Europe? Why should you be worried? Is it possible that you could have been seeing him secretly behind my back? Why are you always talking like this? Why should not talk like that? I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone. My brother has gone to Europe to start a new life. Why should that be your worry? Well, well, I'm worried because Tonya, my friend, is carrying his baby and he'd not allow any plans to go out of the country. You, you like poking your nose in people's business, do you know that? Always snooping around to think that you don't even get your facts right. Did she tell you that my brother is the one responsible for the pregnancy? She did herself. Well, I'm telling you right here, right now, that he's not the one. She didn't tell you because you are a gossip. Why are you always talking to me this way? I don't like it. You keep forgetting that Sonia and I are very close. She tells me everything. Are you sure? Did she tell you that she's my girlfriend? Wait, I don't get it. Are you telling me you're dating Tonya? That's not the point. The point is I am the one responsible for the pregnancy. And I do not want you to talk about this matter any further. Just let it go. Drop it. You hear me? I'm the one responsible and that's all, that's all to it. Now take this money. Pay for the bills. Alright? Take a tax and stay away from me. Don't talk about this anymore. And don't say I didn't warn you. Because if you do, you will be dead. Why she was finding it difficult to tell Anthony? She's actually pregnant for my man. Tonya, you see, um, as to is this a simple thing? I'm asking you. It doesn't matter how I got to know that you're pregnant. I'm a millionaire. I can spend money around and and buy information. I can do that any day. I'm just saying. Agree that I am responsible for the pregnancy and then I will marry you overnight. It's as simple as that But you are not responsible for my pregnancy You know, I've not had anything with you. So how possible is that your brother is the one responsible for the baby? He owns the child. Why are you making this difficult for you and I I said Anthony has traveled He's gone to Europe. It will take several years for him to come back because the guy wants to succeed in life who knows how long that would take? I am here and guaranteeing you love and marriage. All you have to do is say, Ferdinand, you're the one responsible for the pregnancy. And that's it. And then I will transform your life into this status woman. You will like it. My money, of course, will be speaking the language and then bullshit will be walking down the road. But your brother told your father already that we're getting married. How would you feel if I turn around and decide to marry you? What's your worry? That old man, I can turn him and spin him around and do whatever I want to do. I know how to handle him. It's you that is important to me right now. Just say the word. Just say it and then we will get married and it will be done. Silence is golden. Doesn't mean you've accepted. Why would you pray for good things when you're not a good man? 
uh, I'm sorry, madam, but uh, I don't know who you are and I don't even know how you got into my office. I just need you to go because you interrupted my prayer session and uh, I'm not finding that funny. So uh, I'll just ask you to leave because if you don't, uh, I will rain my anger on you and uh, I can do whatever I choose. Because one, you are even trespassing. I can as much as rape you right here and there is nothing nobody can do about it because even if the police do come, I will pay them off. I will just bribe them because that's how much money I have. So just, just, just go, okay? Do you think you can talk back at me? Even if I decide to go naked before you? Can you behold my nakedness as to come near to me? Who do you think you are? You are in my office. This is my office. I'm the manager here. So I'm not going to tolerate this. Well, let me tolerate you. Because I don't want to rain my anger at you. I was praying. So please, can you just, just, just walk out? Just, just go. Surely you are a fool. Now listen to me and listen to me very well. I am the mother Magdalene that can never be changed. Why didn't you wait for God's son? Why did you kill your own brother? So you are the, the dead woman that we give unto you? Father in heaven, you have made it possible for me to have this money today and tomorrow I will be embarking on this trip with Chike. We stay in the same room, you must tell me what happened to my money. Let me understand one thing between both of you, let me understand this. Are you looking at me as a thief? Nobody is saying that you are a thief. What he is saying is that both of you live in the same room together and it is only natural that you should ask you whether he, you saw his money. And I'm saying I didn't see the money. Figure it out and leave me out of it. Anthony, oh, brother, I know you're angry. Don't, don't, don't be angry with me. I, 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 listen, I, I am sorry. I, I, did, I didn't mean to, to, to please, temp, temp, temper justice with, with, with mercy, please, my brother. I, we, we are brothers. I, Ferdinand. Our father, our, our father will be, uh, yes. Ferdinand, you promised me that you will never, ever lead me astray. That's exactly what you did. Because of the filthy, filthy riches you were expecting from Ibuanugo, you participated in a ritual that ended your own brother's life. Ferdinand. Ferdinand, where, where did I go wrong as a brother? Tell me. You, 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 you didn't go wrong. You were wrong. It's me. I'm the wrong one. I, I did the wrong things. You, you, were, you were correct. I, I didn't do it. You, listen, you, I, I was wrong. Okay? I, I did everything bad. Don't, don't kill me. Please. My brother, don't kill me. Listen, I will be trying. Don't kill me. Our, our father, he will, be, he will be alone without a child. If you kill me, just have mercy on me. Okay? You, you never did anything wrong. Please, don't you? Hey, I, I've been looking for this opportunity to tell you that I took your money, you, the money that you were saving to do the the cow business with Butchike. I took it. I'm sorry. I I, I didn't mean to. I had a good heart. Hey, please. Oh, shh, shh, shh.
Yeah, um, I called you here so that you will get a first-hand information. She is the lady who told me that she saw Ferdinand shoot Anthony. And you remember I already told you that um, Anthony told me that he was getting ready to marry her. And there's no way Anthony can go to Europe without informing her. Already she is pregnant for Anthony. Do you know what? Ferdinand went to her to force her to accept that he, Ferdinand, was responsible for the pregnancy. Can't you read between the lines? I am beginning to read in between the lines. And I'm not comfortable with the conclusions I'm getting. Mm, I'm sorry, Saz. I'm, I'm sorry to come in at this point. But I don't think Anthony is in Europe. No. Something tells me that he's being held up somewhere. And only Ferdinand can take us to where he is. There's only one way out. Ferdinand will be brought before Tutunzu and swear an oath of innocence. And that Anthony is now in Europe. Anything short of that will be totally unacceptable. Good. And uh, one more thing. I want you to take her into your place. Let her move into your place. Because Ferdinand is my son. He is so desperate. I don't want him to harm her. And uh, you know, Anthony has already started calling her the wife. And as far as I'm concerned, I regard her as my daughter-in-law. Papa, <laughs> Papa, don't worry, I'll be all right. There's no need for all that, okay? Tony, Tony, you don't even understand. See, Ferdinand is my son. I know how desperate that boy can be. In fact, he's very wicked. He will stop at nothing to get whatever he wants. Now that he has started having interest in that pregnancy, he may try to harm you. And I don't want anything to happen to you. No, Papa, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, sir. Are you claiming that you do not know how close I was to your husband? I mean, why would you bury a man like Santawa and not let me know? Do you know how much business we are doing together? The brothers decided not to tell you because they believe that you have a hand in my husband's death. Oh, who are these cursed brothers? who suspect me of complicity in his death. Do they know how much money I paid him in the last few weeks? Chief, they are not suspecting you for nothing. After my husband's death, they received a letter ish from your late wife. Yes. Magdalene wrote to family members you must confess what you did with that epitome of beauty before you walked to the street naked. You killed my husband because he first killed himself by turning his back against Christ. There is no way you will expect to live peacefully to the edge. There is only one reason, just one, that my hands are not playing black and blue on your face. Now you better be careful, otherwise I'll deal with you. Chief Ibanugo, you can do nothing. You should first survive what is coming your way before you start thinking of what to do with. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. No weapon fashion against me will ever succeed. Men like you led my husband into satanism. You made him abandon his primary call as an evangelist. And he went into the occult. I pray in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion against you ever succeed in Jesus' name. Holy God, fire! Holy God, fire! Holy God, fire! Let the city burn up!
told you, I said, stay away from this pregnancy thing. Just leave it alone. I only wanted to get the truth. What truth do you want to know? What other truth is there? Whatever I told you is the truth. That is it. Tonya and I, we're in love. She's pregnant for me, and that is it. Period. We're going to get married soon. You're a lawyer, Ferdinand. She's pregnant with her brother, not for you, and she will never get married to you over my dead body. about the pregnancy because I didn't know how you were going to feel about it. Then I told my friend and she went ahead to tell your brother. Ferdinand came here and told me to accept that he is responsible for the pregnancy so he can marry me. Listen to me, Tonya. I love you very much and I know you love me too. I am not here to discuss Ferdinand. I am here to discuss the baby. Tell my father that the child must be named Onochi. He came to replace me. Let nobody give him a foreign name. I don't understand you. Why are you talking like this? Why? There is a difference between appearance and reality. Anthony, don't do this to me. We should be talking about our wedding. Why are you sounding so, so, so mysterious? My dear, everything is mystery. But the avarice of men is beyond all mysteries. Ferdinand, my brother, my own brother, he promised me that he will never lead me astray. But that's exactly what he did. Ferdinand led me astray. Be strong. Be strong, my love. Be strong. I have to be on my way. You have to be on your way to where? Anthony! 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 Why are you doing this to me? Why? You know, encouraging me with your courage and everything. Anthony, if there's anything wrong, you can talk to me. You know, you can tell me anything. Please. Some things are better not said. Do what I already told you. I will see you when I see you. And, uh, Anthony, why are you always following me? Fernand. You killed your brother because you wanted to inherit a dead company. We shall see how it goes.
please forgive me. Yeah. It was it was it was it was it was it was not my idea. Smelly mouth sorry, and drive. Drive me to Studio Bar, and that is on Studio Avenue. Because you are linked to the ritual. Your husband was the head of the ritual ceremony that I was a part of. He was the head. And now if you tell me he's not available, you solve this problem for me. I'm not leaving here. Look, we have a police post down the street. And all the houses in this neighborhood are linked to the station. If I press the emergency button, they'll be here in less than four minutes. Are you ready or should I press the button? I am not leaving. Let them be here in two minutes! I have enough money to bribe each and every one of them. So let them come. I'm ready. My problem is, your husband put me in this mess that I find myself in. And I need to solve this problem. How on earth do you want me to solve the problem for this sake? If you claim that he's dead, you solve the problem. What solve it! What do you mean? Problem. I don't care! I don't care! Die! Anthony. what are you doing here? Why do you keep following me, man? I, I, I thought I pleaded with you the other day. I thought you were forgiving me already. What, what's, what, what's happening? You keep following me everywhere. Look, that this one. I'm even here. I'm trying to talk to the, the, the guy's wife. I'm trying to get that guy to, to blow the thing again. Maybe you can come out of the grave yeah, and then join me again. Stop following me, man. I'm, I'm working on this. I'm, I'm trying to solve the problem. He's trying to run me down. I shall never sit down in your house anymore. Because I can see you are not a competent in-law. You are responsible for the death of my sister. 
And I come to warn you that as long as you refuse to own up your abominable deeds, you shall continue to live in fears. You will know no peace all the rest of your life. They have come back here. I am letting you go out of this place alive because of just one person. My late wife. Now you ever do what you have just done just now. You will regret the day you were born. <laughs> it's the people who do not know you that will panic at your rebuke. Me? I know you as a bunch of vanity and nothingness. Honestly. It is the people who call you Chief Ibanugo and you think you have arrived. You must tell the whole world what happened to my sister Magdalene or else you face your eternal damnation. I told myself I was not going to enter this house that Ferdinand built with ritual money. In fact, I hate myself for coming here. You are not here to enjoy the filthy money he made from Chief Iguanugo. We are here to resolve a mystery. Is that not Anthony, my son? He's alive. Don't go to him. We must be sure who is standing over there. That is Anthony, my son. It's Anthony. Come. To me and your daughter-in-law told you that Anthony disappeared before our very eyes. We can't assume that is Anthony until he speaks. Come of you. I told you. I told you that when this thing you are planning gets matured, you are going to be the one that will be destroyed. Look at now. Look at the situation you find yourself. To tell you the truth, I don't even regret what has happened to you. I don't regret it. It's okay. Huh? Look at. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go.
Oh, I mean.